Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play D&D show from Portland, Oregon. And now for something completely different, which you could probably already guess if you've seen any of our previous episodes, is this seat <laughs> is usually filled by our regular DM, Chad Ross. If you're new to the show or looking to catch up on the sessions you've missed, all of our sessions have been uploaded to our Twitch and YouTube channels. And if you're looking to interact with us, you can find links to all of our social media in the body of each session and in the pinned tweet on our Twitter account, at MBMRPG. We would like to thank the following groups and individuals for helping make our show better. Thanks to Axe and Shield for their awesome, fantastic combat risers, to Dwarven Forge for their amazing terrain, to Sirenscape for their fantastic soundscapes, and lastly, thanks to Satine Phoenix and Rudy Wootenberg for all their advice along the way. Tonight's episode takes place in the Red Hand of Doom campaign, with conversions to 5e by Draz74 on the Giant in the Playground forums. Following tonight's episode, there will be a two-week hiatus from our stream. We'll pick up our adventure in the Red Hand of Doom on August 13th and 20th. And for what's coming next, well, you'll just have to stay tuned. Follow Shad's Twitter account, at HyperionPDX, for all the latest updates. With that out of the way, let's meet tonight's players and their characters. <laughs> As the DM, Howard. I'm Howard. <laughs> I know what my name is, and I know what my role is. Yeah. Mike. I'm Mike. Or Michael. Or whatever these guys want to call me. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be playing Torben. A warlock who is a dwarf. <laughs> and Eric? I'm Eric. Uh, I am playing also a dwarf. Uh, his name is Junior, and he happens to have a furry friend named Ampersand. <laughs> I'm Chad, and I'm playing a uh, mountain dwarf named Clancy of Clan Stonefist. And uh, I'm playing Haldric Axefoot. Another dwarf, uh, paladin, uh, oath of vengeance. All right. So the reason that the party is comprised of dwarves is that we are jumping into the second act of the Red Hand of Doom campaign. There is a valley called the Elser Vale that is currently under siege by an army of hobgoblins and goblins and other goblinoids and giants and dragons and lots of just nasty, ugly things that usually are the center of campaigns like this, where the, the players are humans and dwarves and elves. This time they're all dwarves. In the second portion of this adventure, there is an opportunity for the party to meet the hammer fist hold dwarves, who are a band of mercenaries, and pay them to help in the defense of Brindle. So instead of being the party that has so far helped protect and failed to protect the humans in Elser Vale, <laughs> we thought it would be fun to just make these guys the mercenary dwarves that have been paid by the campaign's original heroes to help out. So that's where we're going to go. So tonight, guys, I have a map that you guys are allowed to see of Sweet. Elser Vale. And here in the south center is Hammerfist Holds, which is where you guys are from. And basically, I'm not going to do much of a setup other than to say that the, the adventurers came to the hold with the gold that had been rescued from goblins. What do the adventurers look like? Well, they're kind of a ragtag fugitive fleet of humans and elves and dwarves. I don't know. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, there was a halfling... There... <laughs> Yes. There's a halfling ninja. There's a halfling ninja who a, looks like he's been cut in half once or twice. A human barbarian. Yeah, that's right. Who did a, some cutting a, once or twice. A human, <laughs> human wizard? Maybe. Maybe. And then a dwarven cleric. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. So uh, two of our players, Shad and Doug, actually played this campaign back in 3.5. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed the campaign, so we're, we're just doing it again for my, a couple sessions. My ninja right. didn't enjoy it that much. <laughs> <laughs> my preparing enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> you um, should read the grapple rules. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently, if your player is grappled, the other players don't have a 50% chance to hit him with a melee attack. But we didn't know that. But we didn't know that, and we just... Mistakes were made. Mista yeah. yeah, mistakes were made, and now mistakes are being made. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, you have been told by the leader of the Hammerfist clan that your help is needed uh, in the defense of the human capital city, Brindle. And uh, you know that Drellin's Ferry, which is a small encampment along the river, has already been destroyed. So uh, about four days ago, news came that Drellin's Ferry was completely like massacred. Anybody that was not already evacuated is basically dead. And um, their corpses are now rotting. Uh, the, the main path from Drellin's Ferry to Brindle has a few more smaller villages along it. So you are being sent to the quaint little village of Terrelton. And that is where we're going to pick up. Basically, as you guys have adventured or uh, like traveled through the Vale uh, for three days. <clears throat> so if we are going to start any combat, I guess we should have miniatures out. We do. So okay. we have our dwarves there. We have our dwarves. Yep. This is the tavern? That is the tavern. Okay. So this is inside the city. Mm -hmm. Let's start outside the city. And we can do that in the forest, I guess. Can we get just a forest scan that doesn't have the wall in it? Yeah. So well. Kind of. <coughs> we can try. Okay. The wall's a little... I mean, we could just tell. Just ignore the wall. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just the fourth That's wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice, Mike. Good Action job. cam. I was what? wondering how you're gonna work that to. Ye of little faith. <laughs> okay. So I want. Sure, I've got this right. So we're initiatives? In the forest. Are you calling for initiatives already? I I will be calling for initiatives. Yeah, I just want to make sure I've got the right number of guys. Go ahead and put these guys in the forest on either side. Okay. Oh no! Don't <laughs> surround us. And then put don't these work. guys on the forest on either side. <clears throat> Any particular? Um, let's see. <coughs> Why is he lying down? So it's nearing the end of the third These day guys in of the travel. Yeah. It's nearing the end of the third day of travel, and you guys are getting very close to the town of Tarleton. And it's your understanding that the horde is advancing at a very slow pace because it is a very large horde. However, as you approach the town, you're on the outskirts, you come across a group of hobgoblins and goblins and an ogre. And they <laughs> see you. What? How did they see us? Well, you, you both have dark vision, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not even dark yet, so you, you're just dwarves <laughs> uh, you marching along. Yeah, in our heavy armor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jangling along. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So Mithril. Oh, jangle, jangle. <laughs> no. They, no, they I, recognize I immediately yeah. that you're not hobgoblins. That's true. And uh, you need to make initiative checks. All right. All right, let's get this let's get this going. I go. rolled well. So did I. That was all right. Unless I was a sarcastic rolled well. <laughs> no, I no, I actually rolled well. Goblins, hobgoblins, oh. <laughs> and ogre. Okay. All right. Uh, what did you guys roll, Michael? 14. 14. Okay. So you go after the ogre uh -oh. and the hobgoblins. Uh-oh. Eric? 21. 21. You go before them. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Chad? I rolled a 17 plus my initiative bonus equals a 17. Perfect. So <laughs> wow. on a tie, I get to choose? Uh, yes. So you go before the ogre. Okay. And Doug? Uh, you got me in the right spot. I rolled an eight. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, so, and then the goblins go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I love this. Um, <laughs> looks like Drunir is first. Cool. So, everybody sees everything? or? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they weren't hiding. They're okay. just like 
they're a party that is looking to pillage and in, in, incite fear and terror in the villagers. And the majority of the townspeople are already on the northern side, the like the northeastern side of the city, okay. which is farther away from the side that you're coming from. Okay. And there's just the one ogre. There's one ogre. Cool. There are the six, uh, four <laughs> goblins <laughs> and six hobgoblins. All right. Well, uh, then I am going to hunters mark the ogre. Make him easier to see. He's just large. It's a big arrow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, oh, let's see. I can't guy. move far enough to oh, get, on this guy? get to him, but I can shoot him. And I'm shooting with my crossbow. Okay. Fire away. Ooh, he's no, a hard I'm target. Not. That's a 10. 10 is going to miss. <laughs> yeah. The ogre laughs at you. Ha ha ha. Because he brushes <laughs> the Oh, this side. is already a better game. You're doing voices and everything. <laughs> I intend to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now it is the hobgoblins. You know what? I need to actually roll for my my war adept as well. So my war adept, I don't have four. I'm gonna have him go with the rest of the hobgoblins. <coughs> you should. Yeah. Okay, so I've got three and three. Is that right, Doug? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have uh, two of the hobgoblins advanced towards Eric. On which side? Uh, the well, it depends goblin on side, side or the ogre side. side? I guess for, on the ogre side, that makes the most sense. Are you? Ogre? I don't know which Eric, one. Eric, are you the yellow? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So no. advance two goblins to adjacent okay. to Eric. Okay. Oh. Can easily get adjacent to Eric. All right. How far can they go? They can go 30, 30 right. feet. So yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, that way guy was supposed to be adjacent. No. Okay. I think those two could run up there. <laughs> yeah. So they're both going to run up and attack. They've got spears, and the first one is going to try to stab you with a spear. He is wielding his spear with two hands. <laughs> and he attacks you. Uh, and, because he has. Oh, great. Uh, there's a nine hit. No. Oh. All right. So he basically, the, the first hobgoblin <laughs> runs towards you and stumbles on some small rubble on the pathway. And as he lunges with you at the spear, misses and stumbles to get back up as quickly as he can. And the next hobgoblin, not laughing because he doesn't think it's that funny that the friend of his missed, uh, attacks you with a 12. No. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right. Uh, so the other hobgoblin is going to throw his spear at you, and that is going to be a 19. That oh. one will hit. All right. So with a 19. That one that almost hit me. <laughs> I mean, everybody at the table except for you. Yeah. Maybe you not. take six damage as not one of the spears that was adjacent to you, but a third spear appears <laughs> seemingly out of nowhere <laughs> and embeds into your shoulder. The tree just threw a spear. <laughs> they are or against us. You, uh, for six damage. Six damage, got it. All right. Uh, the hobgoblins on the other side are going to uh, advance towards the party as well. Do you want to just have him move forward and attack? Yep. Mike? Yep. That makes and sense. <coughs> He's going to who's, take. Who's uh, this one going for? Is he going to uh, go? He's for, not going to. Uh, uh, is he going to go here? Yeah, he'll go okay. there as well because I want to have advantage on my attack rolls. Okay. Okay, so that is a 19 to hit. Yeah. Okay, so you take four damage <gasps> as one of the two Ow. hobgoblins manages to pierce that, a weakness in your armor. Me. Does a 14 hit? No, it does not. Okay, so the other one misses. Okay. Uh, did I have three on each side? Yes, there? you did. You got okay. two more. Is there? There's okay, so one, one more is gonna. Oh throw no, I a think spear. that guy went already. This guy. He hasn't. was the one that threw the spear. Yeah, he's the one that threw oh, the spear. The, okay. the third There's on that the side and the third on that side. So the third on this side is also gonna throw a spear at Mike. Okay. okay. And that is a fifteen. Nope. Okay. So that misses, and now my. Um, my adept. He's gonna fireball it. Uh, no, he's actually going to cast Mage Armor. <laughs> he's not going to cast Fireball until the second round. You should have Mage Armor going already. It lasts eight hours. 
Shut up, Oh, Mike. well, in that case, he's going to cast he a fireball. He doesn't know all the spells. <laughs> he's going to cast <laughs> what? Fireball. He's going to cast a fireball. <laughs> and he's going to use uh, an ability called Army Arcana. Uh, so you guys need to make a uh, uh, Dex. dexterity save, DC 13. Okay, so everybody that's it within uh, 30 feet of me, which I believe is everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I've got an aura of protection. Yay. So whenever you, myself, or a friendly creature within 10, oh, 10 feet, I'm sorry. That's not quite as far away. Uh, so oh. just you and me. <laughs> Wait, hey, well, no. I'm right so here. And so five. Five. I'm out. Ten. Five. No. Ten. All right. Everybody. Still everybody. All right. Still everybody. So what so, happens? So uh, plus two bonus to uh, saving throws. Saving throw. Okay. Oh, well, I made my saving I guess we have plus two bonus. You <laughs> dexterity saving <laughs> I'm trying to help here. I rolled what my bonus is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Uh, I mean, I, it could be 12, because he's a very dexterous dwarf. <laughs> no, my bonus is not what my score is. <laughs> <laughs> so 28 total damage. All right, 28 damage. Holy cats. Yeah. Wow. So those of us that save take. Those of you that save take half. Is that's a fireball? That is one fireball. So 14 Served damage. 14 Jeez. damage. OK. Ouch. I'm uh, dead. I'm dead, you guys. Yeah. We should have healed up after that last fight. <laughs> and I'm going to win the game tonight. <laughs> All right, oh, Chad. Wow. It okay. is your turn. I am, I'm going to um, step up. I'm going to move away I fall from. Down now. <laughs> I'm going to move away from my two Dwarven <laughs> buddies because I I feel like uh, the ranger is going to need some help. So I'm going to attack <laughs> the uh, the hobgoblin who attacked my friend. And stumbled a little bit. Um, oh, okay. So that is going to be a 25 to hit? That's going to hit. What about a 16? That will also hit. Sweet. All right. <laughs> so um, he's going to take ooh, six, because I rolled a one. All right. And then seven, because I rolled a two. Yeah. <laughs> so total of 13? Yeah. OK. So wow. how do you want to kill him? Um, <laughs> the first hit. Chops him in the knee, and then when he bends over, I just chop his head clean off. Nice. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit of Laurel and Hardy going That's on. right. That hobgoblin is dead. All right. Uh, now it is time for the goblins to go. And the goblins are just going to stand back and shoot at you guys, or throw. Aww. They're going to use their slings. Okay. And uh, they're going to pick on the target that just missed. killed their friend. Oh, no. And Because their friend had a name. <laughs> his friend, the, Their friend's name, the hobgoblin that you killed, that was Murph. No head, Merle. <laughs> That's the sound he made when he died. I'm pretty sure that a 19, uh, that a 23 is going to hit 23 you. 23 does hit. Oh, 19 right. would not. Jeez. 23, okay, so the next one, uh, 20, does that hit? Uh, 20 is exactly what you need. Perfect. And then he clearly misses. These guys are really good with rocks. Yeah. yeah. These guys are really Some good with rocks. rocks. And they do a ton of damage, too, so. Shad, you might die. <laughs> the first one uh, <laughs> like nails you basically right between the eyes for five okay. damage. Five Ooh. damage. Okay. That is a pretty good roll. And then uh, the next one hits you for four damage. Um, and these are bludgeoning. non magical. Non magical bludgeoning damage. So they're reduced by three. They're just rocks. Um, <laughs> And uh, I'm sorry, I, I was looking up the feet just to make sure that it applied to also ranged attacks. What what was the damage? Five. Uh, it was five and four, right? Yeah. Okay, so three. So a total of three, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Ha! All right. Oh. I'm a fighter. Torben. <laughs> All right. Um, because I've been damaged, I'm going to hex that guy in front of me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to curse him. The um, one in melee with you? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully if I kill him, I can get some hit points back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's going to be hard to come. That's how he heals. Yeah. Well, I only get that once Remember a short they're, rest. They're, well, I mean, I guess technically they're humanoid, but they're goblinoids. Yeah. Yeah, are they humanoid goblinoids? They're goblinoids. They're just goblinoids. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. This, the type is goblinoid. So the, yeah. this isn't going to, the specter isn't going to pop up. Okay. Um, does a 20 hit him? Uh, no. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Did you say 20? Yeah, that hits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is also at full plate. 10 damage. Oh, just 10, huh? Mm -hmm. Not 11? Okay. I feel like 11 right. is what you need. Well, my second attack. <laughs> <laughs> he is hurt. He, uh, he actually looks offended. Like, he throws up on your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, a 19 hits him. Yeah, right? it does. Okay. So, 9... 
Uh, 16 damage. Oh, right. So as he's throwing up, what weapon do you use? A uh, great sword. <laughs> yeah, as he's throwing up, you basically just slice his head in half. <laughs> it's a spectral sword that just comes <laughs> sticking around. All right. I gain nine hit points. I'll drag. <laughs> All right. Uh, five, 10, 15, 20. I'm going over here to this uh, warcaster who threw the fireball. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm wielding a great axe, also in two hands. That is a great axe, he says. It's yeah. pretty good. And so that he would says be goblin, so. an 11 to hit him. Oh, I speak goblin. So do I. Uh, no, because he's got... How about a 15? Goblin. That will hit. Okay. Dang it. Oh, my guys are dying. I get to re-roll that. What? I have a great weapon fighting style. I re-roll a 1 or a 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's an 11. That's better. That's, uh, that's 15 better. damage. Okay. 15 damage. That's awesome. All right. So you hit him. Yep. Did you kill him? I you sure didn't. I didn't, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's the leader, guys. <laughs> that's fine. All right. So that's so you? He. That was me. <laughs> okay. So, oh, shoot. I actually Bang. did the ogre and the goblins on the wrong turn. That's okay. It's okay. We'll just trade. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so the ogre, ogre yeah. is going to lumber into battle. And which side is he on? He's over He's here. He's over here. Okay. okay. So his speed is also 30 feet. Okay. So move him. Okay, perfect. So he's going to move over to... <laughs> That's adjacent. Well, it's not adjacent to either one yeah, of but us, he but has I reach. assume he has reach. He yeah. does. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, you're... Where is he? Meh. Where did my d20 go? You don't, don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> Very helpful, guys. <laughs> All right. So the, there will be a the ogre the <laughs> comes towards... It's just... Is it... There's, you two? It's me or Chad. Yeah. Oh, you two. Okay. Yeah. All right. High is good for Shad. Sure. <laughs> so low is good for Mike. Yeah. All right, Mike. All right. It was good for you. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is good for me. Uh, I think he's me. Does an 18 hit you? It doesn't. No, it does not. Yeah, I exactly. Clanging it off my shield. <laughs> so he takes a swing with a massive great club, and it just bounces off your shield. All right. It is now Eric's turn. All right. Since the uh, you know the old crossbow did like nothing, and I've got somebody standing right in front of me, uh, flip that back, grab out the old battle axe with two hands, and that is a twenty-one to hit the dude in front of me. Well, if the dude is a hobgoblin. Oh, and then a natural one. And a natural yes, one. The one does not hit. Yeah. Are you twenty-one? <laughs> <laughs> and oh wow, that'll be six damage. Okay. So that wasn't really a great axe. That was more of a like Meh. a mediocre axe. So that axe. was a, an axe and you roll a two. <laughs> okay. All right. That's why I went with great sword instead of great axe. <laughs> Even though the mini has <laughs> yeah. So it's their turn. <laughs> it it is their turn. The one that you just hit laughs at you in Goblin. So you don't really know that he's laughing. Unless you speak Goblin. I speak and Goblin. He, I don't speak Goblin. He, uh, he, he rolls a 20. Oh, Does that hit? Um, I'm going to impose disadvantage on him oh, with my really? reaction. Oh, really? <laughs> God, it doesn't have to be adjacent to me. I just have to be adjacent to him. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm dead. Does, a, does an 11 hit you? Oh, 11 does not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you right. for that. Uh, <laughs> so there's still one adjacent <coughs> to Torben. Yep. Yes. The one next to Torben is going to attack you as well, and that is a 20 total. Yep. Okay. No more of the uh -huh, disadvantage ones, right? No. I only get one reaction. Okay. So <laughs> he stabs you, like, and the entire, like, front half inch of the blade pierces your skin, oh. and you take two damage. Oh. That front half like inch. The, <laughs> this much of the... <laughs> <laughs> and you got two oh. more top goblins in the back. And they're going to throw more well, spears. Oh, well, they got more spears? They should there's do. one. He's got the spear, and then that's the. There's this the, one over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's one on either side. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so they're each throwing at advantage because they have an adjacent ally. Um, an ally adjacent to a target. Nice. So that is a 19 to hit uh, Junior. Yeah. Okay. So he is throwing another spear, and you are impaled for four damage. Does a one? <laughs> does a one hit? Hit what? 
You. Your no, it what? doesn't actually hit the ground. It is just kind of floats. Is it 14 though? <laughs> no. Okay. So that's actually what happens is a, a spear bounces off of the ground in front it of you. Skips. Skips. <laughs> <laughs> bing, bing, bing. It, and it lands in front of the ogre, who looks at the hobgoblin through it and kind of roars at him. All right, Clancy, what are you going to do? Um, not to be that guy, but you do have a war caster. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Yeah. I keep thinking he's DM1. And he's being threatened by uh, a little yes, guy. Yes, he sure is. Being threatened by what? A uh, dwarf. Okay. Little guy. Little guy's a Average dwarf. sized dwarf. All right. I could be the tallest dwarf. I could be the tallest dwarf. all the same height. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on how you want to make it. He just wears really thick boots. Thick sole boots. Just an inch above everybody else. I got little wings on my helmet. It's kind of a stone fist thing to do, though. Oh, right. right. Everybody has a really small chairs, and mm -hmm. stone fist has a really tall mm -hmm. chair. Oh, stone fist. Such dicks. <laughs> okay. Good thing so, we have one of those in the party. A ranged spell attack is the same. It goes against the same AC. Yeah. Okay. It is, but if you're making a ranged spell attack with um, uh, Haldric, Haldric's adjacent, then you have to roll with disadvantage because you're really? hairy. Really. Yes. Now you could step back, but that would provoke an attack of over <laughs> You should totally do that. Uh, I don't think I will. I if think... you have a spell that doesn't require an attack roll. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. You can do that instead. See, you're so helpful. You know. I'm... It's been a while since I'm a DM. I've been in this seat. <laughs> uh, well, both of the rays. Uh, <laughs> just... Just to make Shad angry. I like our I'm going to use his like... one level four spell. Oh, <laughs> okay. Force cage. So a 20 foot square is going to be able to get the three of you guys yeah, yep, definitely. in it. Uh, but not nope, him. Not Haldrick, no. So uh, as, as uh, the battle rages around you, you see tentacles coming up and breaking so out of the ground <laughs> no. as Everett's black tentacles I hate this. Uh, start to writhe around you. Okay. And hang on, hang on, uh, hang each of you must I'm, make a dexterity I'm looking throw. up counter spell real quick. Hang on just a second. Uh, okay. If it's a fourth level spell, you have to roll. Yep. That's fine. But, but you it's can a use reaction. reaction to yep. It, yeah. To so the DC is a 14, right? Uh, it's a DC 13. No, the My DC for counter spell is ten plus the spell level. Oh, yeah, okay, so fourteen. Okay, okay. Uh, Thanks, dude. Yeah, well, don't I appreciate it. He hasn't made no, I'm yeah. just thanking Mike. Well, that's he hasn't made the roll yet. Ah, uh, twenty-two. Oh, oh good job. Oh, oh, counter spell. It. Okay, <laughs> all right. So that's him. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> Clancy. Yeah, now it's Clancy's turn. Okay, so Clancy claps a, a hand on Drunier's shoulder and he's like, "You got this. I'm gonna go kill that ogre." And you get, uh, let's see here, did I not? You get an encouraging date, word. Date. No, it's a, a <laughs> rally. So you're rallied by mm -hmm. my encouraging word. So you get five temporary hit points. Yay! And then I am going to move. Adjacent to the ogre. Adjacent to the ogre and to uh, Torben, my good friend Torben, mm -hmm. so that I can maybe shield him. Oh, okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and whack on the... On the ogre. So that is Black a natural 20. Dental, yeah, that hits. That's a natural 20. And <laughs> then a, how about a 12? Did 12 hit him? Uh, yeah, it does. It does? Yeah. Ah, oh, so I'm doing the, yeah. the regular hit first. Um, so that is uh, 12 damage. Okay. And then the crit is 8 plus 1, 9, 14 damage. Okay. I take, I say, take that, ogre. Okay, he looks angry. Yeah, yeah, he sure does. Uh, so since we got him out of order, I'm just going to keep him in the same out of order. The goblins are going to go next. Sure. And I've got two goblins that are going to attack uh, Haldrek. Does a 19 hit year AC? Yes. Okay. And how about a 13? No. Okay. So the one that hits you, uh, a tiny little stone mm -hmm. 
comes flying through the air. Uh huh. And hits you for four damage. Ow! Bounces yeah. right off your helm. Blink. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Dents it a little bit. <laughs> oh. They're hard rocks. They're lava rocks. <laughs> but not the pumice ones, the, the obsidian <laughs> ones. Oh, Gnome death no. noses. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, and then the other one is going to attack the guy that is attacking his ogre friend. Oh! And does a 15 hit you? A 15 does not, <laughs> no. okay. not nearly come close. All right. So now that, that the goblins have proved their worth, uh, Torben, it is your turn. All right. Well, I'm going to stab this first house goblin. You're going to stab him with your great sword? Mm -hmm. It's, it's right more of a spear. <laughs> does a 17 hit him? Uh, no, a 17 doesn't hit any of the... Of the it does. I'm going I'm I'm to assume you're lying. Uh, 10 damage. Generally, that's safe. 10 damage to... Is that the one that you hit last time? That one was dead, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. One of them died, so no, okay. So there's 10 damage to him. And him but that's what happened last yeah. time. It is. Yeah, it is. He did 10. And a 15 hits him? Uh, yeah, it does. So seven more. Okay. And he's dead. He's very dead. Can I come stand next to me? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move speed right there. <laughs> I don't know. There's a gasp. <laughs> So All right. like the ogre just farted All right, so uh, Haldric's going to continue uh, to to assault the war mage. I do. The war yep. adept. Does that get doubled if you... If I... I can move around the guy without taking a... That is yeah. too, right? Yes. You just so if I, move, if I move to this side, side of him, uh -huh. then the goblin, I have cover from the goblins. Is no. It, no? No, because your allies don't provide cover to you. Oh, enemies. well then never mind. <coughs> so that's a natural 20. Natural 20, that that's pretty good. That so uh, roll this and then times two. Uh, if that's how you're doing it. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. Because you could roll okay. high or low. Oh, okay, that's so pretty good. Twenty-two <laughs> and four is twenty-six <laughs> damage. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. No wait, is it um, is it times two on the on the ability? Thing no. Too? no. Okay. It's just, it's just the dice. Okay. Okay. Is he still standing? He's still standing. All right. He's not looking great. Wow. All right. So that would be a twenty-three. Okay. And that is nine damage. All right. So with that, um, I only have one more you can describe his death. Uh, really so can. I swing my axe first at his feet, knock him down. Okay. And then over and then into his cranium. Excellent. Yeah. His and, legs might be wiggling yeah. for a while. And sparks <laughs> fly out of his head, like the magical energy oh. that was contained within him. <laughs> and that is the end of him. Okay. Oh. So Before that was, Steve. okay, this part of that. <laughs> Okay, so now the ogre. The ogre That's is right. very happy to be adjacent. Me too. To <laughs> you. And wants to know if a 19 is going to hit you. A 19 does not hit me. Oh my gosh. I turtle shell. <laughs> <laughs> Clank. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. So, uh, Drunier. All right. Um, well, I got to take out that guy in front of me. Yeah, take him somewhere nice. Because, <laughs> because I don't like him. And uh, that's a 13 first. To hit him? Yeah. To hit the hobgoblin? Yeah. yeah. That hits. Yeah. And second. And this is the one that you hit last time? Yep. Okay. So, if, and second attack is uh, 18. That also hits. And so. Do, 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 do. We'll just. If you can whoop. do, 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 do five damage. Do, 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 do five damage? I bet I can do that in the first one. Oh, I think that's your we'll money. Then I can save the... Yeah, uh, that's ten damage on the Perfect. first hit. All right. So he's dead. Got so, all right, I got him. Yeah. And then, uh, well, then, can I do my second attack on somebody you else? You can move and attack yeah, one of those goblins. Yeah, you certainly can. Yeah. yeah. All right, turn me around and <clears throat> throw me at a goblin. All right. <laughs> do you want me to reroll that second attack? No, I don't care. All right. <laughs> I mean, yes, I do. Yeah, that was that was a good move, Mike. Mm -hmm. Now you're adjacent to two goblins. Yeah. Did that... Did Fourteen. You? Fourteen misses. <laughs> <laughs> A goblin? It does. Okay. They're small. They're hard to hit. Yeah. Huh. Feisty. I guess. All right. Uh, so now it is the hobgoblins, and yep. there is two, two left. Okay, there are two left. And they're the ones that were throwing spears? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the one that's on that side mm -hmm. runs that way. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> <laughs> and the one that's on that side runs that way. Bye, hobgoblins. Okay. We and win. Actually, they win. They got Clancy, it's your turn. Okay. 
So I am going to look at you. I'm like, attack this mofo. And you get to attack him with advantage. And Ooh. then I get to attack him. Just right now? Yes. All right. Ooh, that's neat. Wow. <laughs> um, so that I got a 25 to hit him. That's why I was asking if your hex crits, if it doubles. Mm. Well, it does. It's not going to play into effect now, but yeah, in the future. Eleven. Advantage. Oh, advantage. <laughs> hey, that's better. You're attacking the ogre. Yeah. yeah. The eleven hit. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But go for the crit. Yeah. Well, I wish. Yeah. Um, twelve. Twelve damage. I did yep. eight, eight. Eight. You did eight on his attack. I told him to attack, and then I got to attack as well. Oh, I sacrificed okay. one of my attacks to get one of my allies to an attack with advantage. And you so you did a total of 20, 20 damage. Yeah. Okay, so that finishes him off. Nice! Oh, wow. Bye bye, Ogre! All right. Wow. I knew you did more damage than I did, so oh. I was like, <coughs> I'm give you. Plus four. Yeah. So, Clancy, that was your turn. It is now the goblin's turn, and the goblin's turn and run. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, you can you can kill at least one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because it's I'm in the You're Jason. You're Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a uh, eighteen. Actually, uh, as an as a bonus action, they're going to disengage. Oh, oh they're bastards! And they can move sixty feet. They can move thirty feet, but they can double action, right? Yeah. Well, two yeah. two handed, I would have dealt him a nice big tag. I can so. shoot at one of them, but if I, if I can't see him, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I don't. I think there's enough trees; they're gone. Mm -hmm. This is your first encounter with any of the members of the horde, like your first first hand encounter with yeah. the horde. So, I don't know if any of you speak goblin now. I do. I do. So it might be worth trying to catch one. Saying, catch one. It might mm -hmm. be worth trying to catch one. No. Well, you know. Can we chase them? Dwarves are natural sprint sprinters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're wasted on. These goblins though have thirty foot movement, and we all have twenty five. Yeah. So it's gonna be tough. <laughs> Except for the guy with fly or thunder step. Oh. Ooh. Would you? Who would like to come with me? <laughs> Um, um, right now you're closer to him, right? What's yeah. your range on Thunderstep? 90 feet. <laughs> what about well, the hobgoblins the people are, are still taking out with there you? Too, the I just touch one too. person. They have to be adjacent to you. Yeah, <clears throat> I touch one person. Okay. You teleport 90 feet. So take. So okay. you're adjacent to. Yep. Yeah, you're, to you're Clancy. Adjacent to okay. So you can yeah. already take him. All right. So you could either go the direction that there are four creatures uh -huh. or one creature. Oh, five. <sighs> Let's go with the goblins and the. Yeah. Okay. So I'll teleport this way. Okay. And what are you, which one are you teleporting ad to be adjacent to? Because it could be any of them. Uh, the hobgoblin? Let's go with the hobgoblin. Okay. Yeah. And we pop up right on the other side of him. To cut him off. Okay. To cut him off. And yeah, then he we're, can't disengage. So. Yeah, we're adjacent to him. On okay. That's a so smart move. I would have gone for the goblin. And not only would we have not gotten great information, they would have just disengaged again. <laughs> okay, so we teleport within nine spaces. Um, let's see. Okay, so nobody is within 10 feet of us, so that's. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's good. Um, they do not take 3d10 thunder damage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wow, um, that's a good spell. It's a crack of thunder that can be heard from 300 feet away. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty loud. Okay. You might scare the townspeople. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay, and we just shoot like a lightning bolt. Yeah. Oh, we're doing. Okay. And okay. I just tell you, you need to surrender right now. Okay. Ha, that's a goblin. My In goblin. goblin? Yeah. A nine on your intimidate? A ten. Oh, ten. Oh, can I can I intimidate? Uh, no, because it's not your turn. Oh, I'll direct. It Dang it! Turn. All right, so they are ninety feet away. Yes. Okay, so. Haldrick, we're over here. <laughs> now to, to oh run. Oh my god! Sprint, he how, how fast can I go? You can double your speed, so you can go fifty feet. Fifty feet. And they move so you, sixty. Yeah, you can just <laughs> almost. I can get almost get the range <laughs> of a goblin. Do you Ooh. have a spell that you can? Can I touch you? I I can use. You can, um, you can, he can touch you on the way back. Well, keep in mind that he's also. Another twenty feet. I know. Away yeah, exactly. Oh, no, yeah. I'm thirty feet away from where okay, they so all he's started. 30, he's he's ninety feet away from them. I can touch you and give you long strider. It gives you ten extra feet of movement. Oh. Yeah, I'm thirty <laughs> feet away from you. <laughs> right over there. So get the long strider. Five, ten, then fifteen, then 15 20, 20, 25, 30. Then you only have to make thirty-five. Up. Oh boy, I'm winded. Just okay. run over here to these trees. Um, what, what armor are you wearing? I'm oh. wearing uh, chainmail. Okay. What? <coughs> 
Because <coughs> don't paladin shame him. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta look sexy and and uh, chain mail's form fitting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's what laughs> you kind of just drape in chain mail, yeah. really. Well, not if you cinch it in the right. Yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> the up. goblins are going to. Okay. So the goblins. You're now between the the goblins and. On the other side of the. Well, not necessarily. They could have spread in any direction. That they okay. Want. We we were focusing on the hog cop. Yeah, I see that. So I think <laughs> that they're actually each going to take a sling at you. Oh no. Are we adjacent? Because you're adjacent yeah. to the hog cop. I, I can so only they do get that on advantage. Males, so that's no. Okay. One. Nope. So the first first goblin completely misses. Does a seventeen hit? Yeah. Okay. So a stone comes. Hurling through the air, and a second stone comes hurling through the air. Whoa! As the goblins are enraged that you're continuing to attack after they were making a very kind retreat, you take uh, three damage from one stone and four from another. Oh! You knocked out? Nope. Goblin gonna knock you out. I have 27 hit points left. Oh well, they'd have to. <laughs> they'd have to work at it. Uh, and then for their move, they will continue running, but not straight to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's the hobgoblin doing? The hobgoblin. Oh my gosh. He's gonna attack you with the spear. Okay. <clears throat> what do you and, get? Uh, he missed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's. Uh, yeah, he's gonna just stay in a fighting stance, and he tells because you spoke to him in goblin, right? Yeah. Uh, so basically, he looks at you and says, "You are filth, and I will not stop for you." Oh. You will if I cut Is it my turn? Now? It is your turn. Okay. <laughs> I say no. We... No, it's Drenier's turn. Oh, sorry. Drenier's not there. Sorry, Drenier. Ah, I'm just standing in the. I'm standing <laughs> in the clear and going. He's load your crossbow. Load your crossbow. Load your crossbow. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. shoot him. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, if he's less than hundred feet away, I can hit him. Yeah. I can make a long shot. Are you going to hit the hobgoblin? Yeah, hit the hobgoblin that we're talking to. Oh, please. No, don't. shoot Ooh, the goblins. <laughs> kill the hobgoblin. You'd crit them all. Like, because Knowing our luck. Before that's they moved out of my way, I could have uh, used, used one action to move the hunter's mark to somebody else. But, um, yeah. Uh, 15 with a crossbow? To hit one of the goblins? Mm -hmm. That will hit. Nine damage. All right, so one of the three goblins just appears to drop for no reason. <laughs> maybe he fell into a hole that was in the field in the forest. <laughs> or maybe an arrow or a crossbow bolt hit him in the back of the head, and he just <laughs> face planted into the dirt. The one that shot me was like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now it's your turn. Okay. That, well, yeah, yeah, now it's your turn. Break his knees. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, can you stop for this? And I'm going to attack him with the 21. That hits. All right. This is going to be non-lethal damage. Can you stop for this? Yeah. Can't touch this. <clears throat> so uh, the first hit is just with the haft of the battle axe. Okay. And it's uh, eight damage just to the okay. side of his head. All right. Is he still up? He's still up. All right. Oh, how about a 13? That will hit. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mark. How about... How about 13 Oh, that, knocks, that would have knocked him out. Oh, <laughs> so if he goes, <laughs> no, that wouldn't put him at. It just puts him at zero. OK, so that knocks him out. Yeah, because it's non-lethal. OK. So I just Yeah, but him. can't you accidentally kill somebody if you do too much non-lethal damage? If you're trying, if, you're at, if they're at zero. If you continue to attack them at zero, you would eventually kill they them. They immediately but take a fail. If you're trying to zero. not kill them, <laughs> you automatically All right, do that. All right, so he's, uh, he's sleepy time. OK. I grab his collar and I start walking back right. slowly. Uh, Torben, it is your turn. Okay. What I'm, are you doing? I'm gonna shoot at a goblin. Oh, okay. <laughs> no survivors. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the one ran away this way. There's one. The other ones we'll took let, off, right? We'll let, let him one. Let him tell the tale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Don't screw up. Spread our torps. legends. They'll kill you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, does a 24 hit him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about an 18? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so the first is only three damage. Okay. Uh, he's still alive. He and second is six. He stumbles and then he dies. <laughs> I don't Just know if it burst was... Burst into a I don't know, It's two Eldritch Blasts. I don't know if it was the blast that killed him or if it was the fall from the first trip. 
But either way, he's dead and now smoldering. All right. And you could start a forest fire if you're not careful. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It's pretty dry out there. Well, it's four damage. Hobbit, fire damage. It is your turn. Okay, so the nearest, the remaining goblin is what, 90 feet away from me? Uh, He'd yeah. ran 60 yeah. feet mm -hmm. and then he went another 30 feet. Yep. So he's 90 feet away. Yes. And at my best, I can go 50 feet. Okay. No ranged attacks? I have a great axe. Oh, yes. He tries it on the The long range on be... 60. That would be some God of War badassery. <laughs> throw you, his great axe. If you would let me throw my great axe at a goblin, I would do it. I'll let you throw Cirque it. Cirque did that. In uh, the, it's just will you let me find it again? It, it missed. Maybe. What's your perception? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. I can locate objects. So oh, I'm okay. Well, then, knowing that, I'll throw... Oh, All right. I I'll, give him mine, and then after an hour, it goes away. I'll tell you that it adds five to the AC because of the distance. Yeah. Okay, so it would be an 18. That is not going to help. All right. So an axe goes hurtling through the woods towards the goblin and then gets lodged into a tree. Do you okay. Do you say the famous words before you throw your axe? And my axe! <laughs> <laughs> He's axing him to stop. Oh. oh. All right. Uh, Veneer, it is your turn. He's uh, over there next to my axe. Yeah. <laughs> and that's another goblin running away? Yeah. Well, he's going to have some fun with this. Whoop! Uh -oh. Off the table. Uh oh Good catch. Uh, that's probably not nine. Nine. Oh is wait, not sorry. Gonna... Flip it around. It's a twelve. That is not gonna hit. Okay. Not gonna hit the goblin. That goblin continues to run sixty feet further away. He's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are dwarves. You're like, oh. I'm winded. <laughs> I'm, I'll eventually get my axe. <laughs> right. He's been standing in the same spot <laughs> three <laughs> rounds <laughs> later. Yeah. <laughs> like, finally got to my axe. Okay. <laughs> so you guys have defeated these guys. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Go ask. Congratulations. Do we, do we level? Uh, yeah, and you level up. You're now level 12. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Well, there were 12 guys, and do you, no. Who brought the Spirit Masters with us? <laughs> <laughs> we're fighting red caps, everybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody's going to have any idea what I'm talking about. No. no. And if you do, <laughs> you played Dark Age of Camelot. Yeah, yeah, you played Dark Age of Camelot. And you were admitted. Then you know. All right. So, what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to bring the hobgoblin with us. Into in, town? Into town. Okay, so you've bound him somehow, or... Why don't I'm we just going to keep a hold of him. He's sleepy. Why okay. don't we... If we're level 12, I get one more and interrogate him outside of town. Uh, because I'm don't thinking... Think dragging him into town will scare somebody? I'm thinking that um, it could be that one of these townsfolk has a better idea of conversation than we do. What's your charisma? My charisma is 14. Okay. Mine's 16. Pretty, wow, you oh, guys mine's are 14, super I guess. charismatic. Hey. Well, <laughs> you're the okay, warlock. we're going to have him <laughs> do the talk. Everything's based off of charisma. Okay. Why do so, you hang out with these guys? They're I mean, like we, the can, we can interrogate him in the forest if you want. Um, I just don't know how much the townspeople are going to appreciate us bringing a hobgoblin in. Oh, we're to protect them. We're going to look badass. Not like Otherwise, gonna we're going to come in in dented well, armor. Well, look. No, if we <laughs> bring in like a severed head, then we'll look badass. There are some dead hobgoblins that you can <clears throat> do that to. I don't know why we would need to. There's a, oh, well, there was a severed. One of them already got its head cut off. Yeah. <coughs> was there anything <laughs> valuable on the hobgoblins and the ogre that we killed? I don't know. Have you made an investigation check? <laughs> That's your job, isn't it? I'm You're the rogue? I'm currently wrapping up the, <laughs> the hobgoblin to a tree. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, man. You have rope in your inventory? Um, it's in our I have a, a, kit, a right? pack, so I would assume so. If it's in, a, yeah. If you have an adventure, I have mason's tools. <laughs> We're gonna build hey, a stone. Oh, you too. And brewer's supplies. <laughs> you too. You yeah. too. The same thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the what same plant. Yeah. <laughs> we, we like our stone. We, and we like we our try to out brew Apparently, each other. yeah. We definitely know each other's likes and interests. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so who's investigating? He oh. was in a rogue's investigation. Oh, yeah, because I have investigation. That's a four. <laughs> yeah, you don't really find anything in value. Sweet. Oh. Untrained. Okay. Let's, let's, let's see how this goes. Four. You can <laughs> you confirm his findings. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. He, ro he rolled a twelve. Show the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he rolled You, a 12. you go back to where the caster was because you're, you're yeah. thinking, oh, yeah, that's smart. The, yeah. This caster probably, has, he's got a staff. He's... He's a this is a wood staff. Haldrick is thinking, me smart. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sorcerer, right. so. All right, no so, so there's, a, there's a staff. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I just looked at Clancy's hit. Just a, it's just a, a minus a one. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're investigating. <laughs> Stop making them I was, I was tying the hop goblet up. I was oh, all right. Use a dexterity check. <laughs> I was talking to my badger. So no, I, I just... Was... I just push him up against a tree, and then I wrap the rope around the tree several mm. times. So I'm not. Make your have your badger look around. Oh, he's he's gotta be smarter than we are. So uh, I smack the hobgoblin no, awake. He's okay. Not. Hey, sleepy. Uh, he's got a good perception if it's uh, using okay. his scent. Um, what's the what's the horde's plan? Are you speaking in goblin? Yeah, I'm gonna speak in goblin too. Okay. Um, and I will say this can go. This can go easier. This can go hard, and that's a fifteen intimidation. Um, I don't speak goblin, but I am trained in intimidate. Can I give him a um, advantage? Advantage on you could. Okay. Well, I'll, let me help you do that. Well, you just have me reroll. Yeah. Uh, that's a fifteen. Okay. Well, I rolled a ten the second time. Are we taking a short rest? Um, <coughs> I was gonna wait until we got back to town. Oh, okay. It might take a few minutes there to do might this be, anyway. There may, might be goblins attacking the town. So. Oh. So. Okay. <coughs> so. I say, what task? <laughs> <laughs> Does he uh, have a quest for us? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to make sure that I'm doing the right, the right chapter for right. the interrogation. Does he have a crush bomb belt on? I take that <laughs> off of him. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, dang it. I'm looking for the chart here. Sorry about this. No, it's fine. So D and D Beyond is really great. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised how easy it is to use. It's a an app on my iPad. Yeah, but it doesn't have the story from this. No, I'm I'm just saying. I'm using it for my character, character sheet, sheets, yeah. and it's awesome. Yeah, I I really like it a lot. If you're not already subscribed to D and D Beyond, you totally should. Yeah. Also, if you're not subscribed yet to our channel, you should totally subscribe to our channel. That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and go with the one that I have. Okay. And not worry about it as much. All right. Okay, so what's the total for the I, intimidate? I intimidated him with a fifteen. With a fifteen. Yep. And that was with the uh, advantage that you yeah, received. Yeah, I rolled worse the second time. Okay. Um, so he uh, he looks at you and he, he tells you, you cannot fear me as much as our leader. The Kokorzul will rise. Kokorzul? Will I, rise. When, I'm going to make a history check when. on the Kokorzul. The, the Kokorzul? Uh, how about a four? Or yeah, with a four. you have no idea what he's doing. Cuckoo Kachu will rise. <laughs> an 18 Arcana. An 18 Arcana. Uh, you recognize that as uh, not being a goblin word, but a dragon word. Oh. oh I yeah. don't speak draconic. I do. So, try asking it, him what when. Okay. Oh, so, <laughs> to you, it just kinda... means dragon lord. Okay, I ask him when, and when I do that, I. Swing my axe into the tree, like super close to his head, for another intimidate. Um, <laughs> and this is a fourteen. Are you helping me? Of course, I'm helping you. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a eight, an eighteen on my intimidate this time. He spits and he laughs and he says, "In one week, this village shall fall, and in less than the end of the month, Brindle will fall, okay. and then all of the Vale shall belong." To the hobgoblin. And I pull my axe back and I chop his head off. <laughs> thanks, thanks for letting us know when your attacks are going to happen. Yeah. We appreciate that. Nice. Okay, we got a week to protect the town. And it was a DC 18, everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we go back to, we go into town. Yeah. Okay. And I take the two hobgoblin heads. <laughs> I take the ogres. Okay. All right. I've got the, the wizard staff. Um, can we... I'll grab some spears, too, because we're going to need those. Sure, why not? Yeah, you always need more spears. And no, rocks. I, get I'm the goblin rocks. I'm going to use the spears. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to use them for. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you come into the town, uh, there is very little activity. It, it looks like hardly anyone's there. In fact... Few people remain here, uh, having been warned after the massacre at Dwellin's Ferry to make their way towards Brindle. 
But as you are uh, making your way through the town, a sudden crash followed by a string of curses draws your attention to what was once a rather high-class tavern. Oh, a high-class tavern. Which yeah. is now apparently abandoned and vandalized. As you approach the entrance to the building, you see four men dressed in leather armor nearby, basically at, at the entrance. Are they inside or so outside? They, and they're Are outside. they carrying a chest? And between them <laughs> is the sort of the crash. They're not ogres. They're half you know, ogres. Over there. <laughs> they're suspicious. <laughs> but between them uh, is the source of the crash. They've dropped okay. a large wine rack on the ground, yeah. strewing broken glass and spilling wine Why? all around their That's feet. That's just a waste. Yeah. They exchange dark looks as they notice that the accident has drawn your attention. One of the men <laughs> eyes you. Okay. Dubiously? D yeah, he dubiously. <laughs> he glowers at you dubiously. dubiously. Is he ready to attack? No, he's not scowling at you. Oh, okay. He's glowering at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> he might not even if you just this. stand there for a we moment. We gamed together too long, I think, Howard. He says, <laughs> Is that possible? Get lost, chumps. Can't you see we're working here? And he puts his hand on his short sword's hilt. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I roll the elder's head. Are we rolling initiative on this? You can. You can certainly roll initiative. All right. Let's we'll see if we can. Are we doing it the way I do it? Or yeah. Or? Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I got a twelve. Anybody beat a twelve? Nope. I, I got a twenty. Twenty-one. All right. We are gonna have. I think we just start. You go first. <laughs> you got a twelve. Yeah. All right. Drenier, uh, it's your turn. They haven't attacked, but it's clear that they <coughs> will. Will. They, and they're, they're wasting good wine. They're wasting good wine. They spilled wine, and it looks like they might not be the owners of the establishment. Hmm. And we haven't made a uh, spirit wraith thing yet today. Oh, it's yeah. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't killed a human. I haven't killed a human. Um, you get one chance. <laughs> I am just. I'm one gonna... shot. This is your shot to blow. And then we sleep. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of move up to the mouth of the alley. Um, okay. And uh, so just move him up to menacingly like the end of the, the tavern there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna hold my action, but I'm going to menacingly rub the battle axe, basically against the side of the building to look like I'm trying to. Oh, well, then you're get the edge pretending to yeah. sharpen it. I'm pretending something. to sharpen it on the building. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they are going to take that as an invitation to battle. You're tanking, I guess. <coughs> yeah, that's right. What? You're tanking. Uh, you're you're, you're oh, picking a you, fight with four guys. It's fine. Uh, the two closest to you is a boring draw hand crossbows. Oh. And on a, on a piece of paper. Uh, does a 20 hit? Well, yeah. About that? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that misses. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right? All right, so uh, he's going to use determination because he's determined to make quick work out of you. Did we, we which didn't means heal at all? No, we didn't. No, did we? didn't. I, just looking at I that. mean, you're just going yeah. into town. Yeah, happen? we're just going into town. What's yeah. the worst that could happen? Well, the town could be under attack. We well, don't have time for that. <laughs> no, we didn't. You were in a rush. Uh, so you actually take 17 damage oh. because he's a rogue. All right. Oh. Huh. How are you doing? Good. How, how's Ten. Your sneak attack? Good of you yeah, to discover this for us. Um, he can do good news is once. you still have the temporary hit points. Well, that took five of the yeah, yeah <laughs> of the seventeen. Yeah. So I'm down to ten. One per short oh, okay. rest. Oh. Okay. And then uh, the other one missed. Cool. Uh, the other two are actually going to to move into the tavern. Oh, okay. I don't want to fight in a tavern. That's sacrilege. <laughs> Who would want to fight in a tavern? That would be terrible. Who's next? Me. Uh, Clancy, you're next. All right. I run up. Okay. Um, I'm at least adjacent to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't care if you guys are are assumed yeah. to be closer than that. Yeah. Yeah. So am I within 20 feet, Doug? Five, 10, 15, 20. You can be. <coughs> sure. Okay. You're 20 feet. All right. So I pull out a hand axe, and I'm like, "Hey, let me ask you a question." <laughs> and that is merely an 11. So the hand axe goes swinging. By. It does. Yeah. And I'm like, like he looks like. 
he does this kind of a thing. Oh no! Like he's dodging How it, but he, he does do it. That? He does it slowly, and like he's mocking you. He's, he moves like <laughs> we do. Uh, that's it. I think right. he moves better my, than my we regular do. All right. Let's see. Five, 10, 15, 20, 20. He's twenty-five feet away, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. You're not gonna be adjacent to both of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, why. I am going to use green flame blade, so my a green fire erupts around the sword. Okay. And I'm going to strike down on that guy. It's Kill a laser him. sword. <laughs> it's a laser sword, yeah. Does a 16 hit him? It sure does. All right. Uh, let's see. Melee attack is an extra 1d8 fire. Okay. So he takes 14 damage. All right. And then the guy next to him takes also dies. <laughs> uh, six damage, six fire damage. Oh my! You just lit both of them on fire. Mm-hmm. Are they continuing to be on fire then, or is that just a? It's just a. Area it's just hit? fire damage. <laughs> Haldrek. It's a cantrip. Um, That's cool. Put my hand on uh, Drunir's shoulder and uh, say, uh, there, there. "You'll be all right." And how many hit points are you down? I'm down 36. Oh. <laughs> You're down 36. <laughs> yeah. Would you like 20 back? <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. So you'll be over. So I lay on hands for 20. I turned into a pin cushion <laughs> for a while. Well, you, you can you stop tanking me. <laughs> right, 5, 10, 15. All right. So staying adjacent to both of them you think is a bad idea? Well, they're rogues, but it doesn't really matter if you're in front of one of them. All right, I'll stand. I'll move up to in front of one of them. How could it possibly matter if you stand next to both of them? They're no. just going to move around you anyway. Well, they can just sneak attack you if, if you're, they're both adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, oh, you know what? They could just have done. They could have moved around me anyway. Yeah, yeah. they can. But now there's two of us to choose from. Now there's from, two. So. so they're not gonna. They're not gonna both just attack one person. Patrick. No. No. <laughs> They got to spread. He's spread. a paladin. He's wearing full plate. Yeah, it's hard to hit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's not wearing full plate. He's where do you get? Chain where do you get chainmail? <laughs> they don't know Shapely chainmail. <laughs> okay, so after Haldric, it is Drenir's turn. Uh, all right. You got this, Drenir. Uh huh. <laughs> Keep the one rubbing that, I, that axe on the side of the what's building. The starting off of level six. I have no idea. Okay. You were given I, the this is equipment. Like basically. one of three or four fifth <laughs> yeah. edition characters I've ever made. Right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move up. You're gonna move up. I'm gonna move up, and I'm gonna try to hit one of the guys. That yeah, you could basically have chosen any common non-magical item. Yeah, so you could be in full play. Let me see your hand, your player's handbook. I got a player's handbook right here. In fact, you're in town right now. Yeah, and, and I'm a smith. <laughs> you're a smith. All right, with a clan rumble tide. And two only, hand, oh wait, so yes. with two Not hands one. on the on the great axe, uh, it's a sixteen to hit. Is this this is the one that. Mike just hit, is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. 16 yep. hits. Okay. Ugh. Six damage. Okay. On first one. And then um, I uh, kind of look back over my shoulder and I tell Ampersand the Badger, and he's going to go ahead and make his attacks. <laughs> he runs up. He's going to run up to the same guy. <laughs> and oh, wow. Okay. I'm sure a nine probably doesn't hit. A nine does not hit. But a 24. A uh, 24 does hit. And I need to grab something else real quick. As you get close to these guys, you notice that they're all tattooed. They have a, a very crudely drawn red tiger paw on their shoulders. Red tiger paws. What is the red tiger paw? Tiger claim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so with his claws, he does seven damage. Okay. Hey, his claws are now red too. <laughs> exactly. You're covered in all right. So it's their turn. Yeah. Um, Don't kick my badger. Do they give up? He is going to disengage and move into the tavern. <coughs> what? This guy. I did not see that coming. Which one? I that did. one. The, yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess I'm just going to have to burn down the brewery. And then the <laughs> one that you're adjacent to, Doug, yeah. is going to <coughs> use determination on you. Okay. And does a. Uh, does a 21 hit you? Yes. Perfect. Jeez. Even now with your new plate map? Well, yeah, because maybe he's down 19. 
No, Shield of Faith would only give me a plus two, making it to 21. So, so he, uh, he slices at you and does a total of 17 damage. Ouch! Jeez. <clears throat> That's things a little bit. And then he disengages. Oh. Uh, disengage is an action. Oh, no. He's, he's cutting a rogue. rogue. Yeah, that's and he moves into the cavern. <coughs> Damn rogues. Okay. So in my mind, what I see is uh, Haldric is like, oh, crap, we could start with plate mail? And <laughs> he like, he's changing the armor. Phases and phases out changing. and then phases back in and he's got plate mail on. No, underneath the chain was plate mail. You um, <laughs> couldn't see it before. Okay. You know, usually you put the chain mail underneath the plate. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, we'll why, talk about that's why it was I had a little too much to drink last night. Um, plant seeds, your chain. Uh, are there windows in the windows? Is there glass in the windows? Uh, so there aren't. So the, the bottom floor window is boarded up. It's boarded up. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to move to the bottom floor window. Okay. I'm going to attack it. Okay. To try to break it. Okay. <coughs> um, you can that make is a strength check a if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to try to okay. s- swing it through and then push my way in. Okay. Um, so that so is. You hit it. That is six damage. Does that create enough of a hole Let to... me look real quick. <clears throat> Does anybody know off the top of their head the hardness or I hit points for wood? I don't that there's... No. I don't think there's a... They're not that specific in <laughs> no. this game No. Okay. Anymore. No, they're not. So I'll say that you can bust a hole into it that okay. you'd be able to... And then a 10 athletics check to push my way through. Sure. And I say here's Clancy. Here's Clancy. And you don't see anybody inside unless you... Oh. So they're all, all gone. I look so around. Dark vision? Well, he has dark vision. Mm. I look around and I'm like, all right, where'd your you perce- go? What's your perception check? Oh, sure. Uh, my perception check is great. It is a 15. Okay, you don't see them. What? Hey, there's nobody in here. Well, well there's... Oh, I'm in on, here. Hold on, hold well, on. You I'll see just... one of them. Okay. Uh, I, you see one kind, I of see crouched, one kind of crouched behind the table with a candle it's on it. It's Gerald. <laughs> Gerald, get out of here. <laughs> Go fight those other dwarves out in the, the yard there. <laughs> it's not Gerald. Oh. All right, Torben. All right, well, turn. I'm going to go inside. So put one next to the table with the candle on it. Because yeah. he's not. He, he will. Well, that once I'm poorly. in line of sight. And he's, he's, no longer any, he's no longer hidden. Well, that's fine. Yeah, so I'm going to continue to move up to him. Okay. And I'm going to hit him twice, or try to hit him twice. Okay. Uh, 22. That hits. Okay. And a 21. Okay. All right, so his damage is uh, 12 for the first hit. Okay, it looks like he takes less than that because he sort of like dodges away from where you hit him. Does he yell something? Like an uncanny dodge? Yeah. <laughs> and then 10 damage. Okay. He looks hurt. You should give up now. He drops his sword, actually. Gerald. <laughs> That's Gerald. That's Gerald? Well, Gerald just surrendered. All right. I think. Uh, <laughs> Aldrich, it's your turn. Okay. We'll see. So, 5, 10, 15. I step inside, I guess. Okay. And then... I could use a heal. <laughs> <laughs> So there's one. There's only one rogue, and he's surrendered. So the game's over. You guys. Um, <laughs> Hurry, we're how win. Go, we're level four. Can I just climb up onto the bar here? <laughs> sure. And then looking around. Yeah, make a perception check now. It, okay. It'll be easy. Make it with advantage. Like Wolverine. With advantage. Yeah. <laughs> so that would be wow. uh, eighteen. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> so you see one more, uh, and he's behind the bar. Okay. He rolled any. I, I rolled a seven. <laughs> I, I saw that. I was like, what? He's not a very perceivy kind of a guy. That it's, would be it's a class fine. skill for me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so is that um, my full turn then to do that? Yeah, you're oh. near. It's your turn. All right. I'm going to go in the bar. Okay. And I see the guy that Haldrick now sees. And I just. <coughs> yeah, there's one over here. He's dropped his weapon, the one that Haldrick. No, no, the one behind oh, the bar. No. Behind the, bar. Sorry. the one behind the bar. And so I, uh, as I step through the door, I just basically level the crossbow at him. Okay. And uh, shoot. Yeah, we'll just level it, and I'm going to stay five feet away from him so I can actually do it without having okay. to take a disadvantage. I'm a stupid thing. We're the good guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, We're 11, save you. <coughs> Eleven to hit him. That does not hit. Yeah, yeah. 
the bright light from outside and the dark light from inside is made of In fact, when you do the bolt, he like takes his sword and flings it at, flings the bolt aside. Oh wow. Ooh. By accident, mostly. <laughs> Alright. Well, so it is his turn. Uh-huh. He yeah. uh he doesn't lower his sword, but he does take a step away from you. A step that does not provoke an attack of opportunity. Because he disengaged. <clears throat> and he says, Easy, guys. We can all be winners here. <laughs> mm. Are you robbing the place? Well, it doesn't appear to be tended, this bar. I'd hate for any of this <clears throat> alcohol to go to waste. Then why'd you drop it outside? It's true. We shouldn't waste alcohol. <laughs> well, it's a party foul. Should we share the alcohol? That was Gerald's fault. Gerald's fault. I'm Chent. Oh, clearly. Looks like you gents have <laughs> met some of the horde that's advancing, making opportunities for those bold enough to take them. Opportunities to defend this noble town. Well, opportunities... He's, he's pillaging the town. To prevent the horde from taking all of this wine. Exactly! We're on the same side. See, that's what we're doing. That's all we're doing. Come on, boys. Welcome to These the militia. Guys see what's happening. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, Join us! You just signed up for the militia. <laughs> yeah. That's what you just did. There's a war effort on. You're, you're part of it. You're conscripted. <laughs> also, we're going to need all of your aluminum cans. <laughs> <laughs> and aluminum foil. Yeah. But I have a hat. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, feel free. We're out of initiative at okay. this point. If you guys attack, then we'll be back in initiative. Okay. So, <laughs> but these two clearly are not attacking you. Yeah, yeah. The other two clearly are no longer in the tavern. There or, were two more. Yeah, yeah there yeah, were four. There were four. four. <laughs> yeah. All the humans look alike. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> the intelligence the check. <laughs> they had just somebody cast mirror image, right? Is that right. what's going on? Exactly. <clears throat> so um, my name is actually Multiple Man. <laughs> so um, I I guess that we we talk to these guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are they are they from this town? They're from this town. They're this They're is just actually stealing from this, their. This was the tavern that they have always hung out at. Sweet. Um, you get the impression that they think much more highly of themselves as a rogue or thieves guild than might actually be accurate. I say, what's up with the kitty pot? Consider. <laughs> he glowers <laughs> at you. Like, he's like, we're crimson tigers. That's. that's They're very, very feisty. That is adorable. <laughs> Did you come up with that when you were like 12? Look, I don't really want to I'm talk gonna, about it. Hey, I'm going to make a history check. That's a okay. yes. <laughs> well, uh, that is a 15 to know what I know about the Crimson Tigers. You've never heard of the Crimson Tigers. <laughs> Nobody's ever heard of the Crimson Tigers. <laughs> it's these four guys. That's it. Okay, so I got a 26 on my persuasion, but if the Crimson Tigers were to join us in defending this noble town, then everyone in the entire El Surveil will have heard of the Crimson Tigers and will respect them it's as true. a brave and... Valiant band of cutthroat thieves. <laughs> it's true. And I pour myself a mug of ale. So that's a 26? Yeah, I'm a persuasion check. Wow, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> it, I, it would persuade uh, me. He, I'm persuaded. He kind of buys it. <laughs> like, Join us! Some, you want uh, some notoriety. He definitely, definitely, uh, his attitude changes to friendly. Good. Um, he sheaths his sword. He apologizes for the misunderstanding. Look, we we didn't know who you are. I mean, you're obviously not from town, and no. I mean, you've got those bloody heads on your belts. And <laughs> hold on, I go outside and I <laughs> stick the spears in the ground and heads on the spears. Great. I take the table, take it outside, flip it over, and mount the over. <laughs> <laughs> takes all four legs to hold that thing up. That's right. But I mean, I I guess we could try to put our swords to better use. And good. I uh. I'll talk to the boys, and we'll meet up with the, the militia. What, what boys? It's just you and... No, Gerald. no. <laughs> We're, we got to defend, uh, defend and, this town. And uh, you're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Did you hear what happened to Drellin's Ferry? I That's why we're going to defend this town. It's our destiny. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, what? So make a I think we should probably <laughs> gather the people here and keep going. Yeah. What? We should. Now, so, I got a 13 on my history on, check. Okay, so we should trap fortunately for you, this is just oh. short-term history. 
So <laughs> your instructions were to see if you could help the people of Tarleton evacuate. Oh, we're not to saving the town. Grindle. Oh, because no. this is not Seven Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> your your instructions Seven were dwarves. pretty clear. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right. The massacre at Dwellin's Ferry. Uh, oh, made right. it very speed bump that... at Tarleton. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because yeah. Dwellin's Ferry was a bigger town than Tarleton. So... But did they have four dwarves? They didn't have us. <laughs> didn't have... <laughs> With our, yeah. mason, our combined masonry, we can build they a wall. They had a halfling ninja. <laughs> and, and, oh. and, and, like a year. and a human barbarian. See, that's where they went wrong. And yeah. a human they only had half a ninja. The, the barbarian and... leapt into battle and then was never seen from again. <laughs> oh, he was very much seen from. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> he just kept leaping in farther and farther right. back. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Yeah, we should try to get as many people in this town out of here okay. yeah, as we can. So um, we can try trapping some of the buildings so that when they do try to go inside, they just yeah. don't die. Well, he tells you that this side of the town is pretty much abandoned at this point, which is why they were hmm. were uh, yeah. like trying to take advantage of the stores and the tavern and stuff. Um, but What'd you get? The f f <laughs> like they, <laughs> Literally, they were just stealing alcohol uh, well, <laughs> as much as they could carry. Oh, and they carried underage. too much and dropped it outside, so... That's a shame. Mm -hmm. Kids. Uh, they do have a cart on the other side of the tavern that already has, like, probably 40 gold worth of alcohol on it. Sweet. So All right, we'll be taking that with us to Brendel. Uh, so if you can't walk if cart. you uh, make your way to the other end, to the, to the north eastern end of town, pardon me, um, then you'll find that that's where the... <coughs> The people who came through from Drellin's Ferry that were too injured to move at the same pace as the rest of the evacuees, the refugees, okay. moving towards Brindle is where they've stopped. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and get to that. So if is we want to move to the, the other side temple? of the wall there, yeah. Are we going to have an opportunity to take a short rest between now and then? You're making your way to a church. Are we going to make a uh, short rest between now and then? You can absolutely take a short rest. I mean, you could do a short rest even at the tavern with your new friends. Yeah, why not? I think we might want to do that. Yeah. And I would a short use, rest uh, doesn't require anybody to sleep. So. Yeah, That's it's true. an hour. And then, um, know, Mike, you were asking about that. And yeah. I would use the rest well, of my All Mike's hands. spells recharge in a short rest. Is oh, do they? nice yeah. thing about his. Nice. So I will heal myself a little bit with my lay on hands, and then... <sighs> I'm going to spend some hit dice. I'm going to spend three hit dice. I'm going to... Let's see here. How Maybe. many am I down? I'm down... Oh, yeah, 17. I'll spend two. So we can... As Xenos, I don't get hit very often. So yeah. we're rolling for, <laughs> rolling for recovery. Okay, so eight, eight and... One. Five. Five. That's 12. Two. I'm still down some hit points, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not down too much now. But yeah, I get 14. my two spells back. 14. So if we're level 12, I'd have three spells. <laughs> no. Do you want to move the camera to the other yeah. side of the table Four. too then? 16. That's <coughs> right. So I use four hit dice to heal up. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> All right, what am I trying to Whoa. look at? Careful. Uh, just the a general overview of the, the, wall's coming down. the scene there, like the, yeah. the church of Palor. Are there, are there a couple of wagons over there, Shad? There's a wagon. Oh, wagon. I only okay. have a wagon. That's fine. Do you want to just put it right here? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Partner mess. We're good? <laughs> yep. I think so. All right. So after a short rest with your new friends, um, they'll actually accompany you to the other end of town. Okay. Um, 
introduce you to the, the town elders that might remain here. <coughs> you come upon a sorry scene at the edge of town. Two clerics of Pelor are working to evacuate an infirmary that has been set up inside of their church. Dozens of injured and sick people are clustered around some wagons, including some badly frightened children, some old people who clearly aren't moving very quickly anymore, and others on stretchers who moan in pain and fear. The clerics don't appear to have much help. One of the clerics, a woman of about 50, looks up as you pass by. Can you spare ten minutes, friends? She asks. We need to get these poor people away from here before the goblins arrive. Oh, that's Absolutely. why we came here. Okay. We're here to help. We'd be glad to help. We like smashing goblins. And my axe. <laughs> and my axe. Just keep saying that. That's yeah. a, that one phrase is that's really right. all you need to speak Dwarvish. That's right. So the scene as described, I mean, there's uh, there are people that need heal checks made on them. Um, there are a number of individuals. Um, there's actually one striking looking human woman with a sling on her arm. Oh. Okay. Uh, most of the people are are either injured and sick from this town or injured and sick. Uh, and a lot of people that were injured in the, the attack on Drellens Ferry but managed to escape. And obviously women and children. Uh, you've got a comment saying you're doing great Dungeon Master. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Good job. I go up to the woman with the sling. Okay. And I'm like, hey, lassie. Are you going to make a charisma check? No. No, oh, I'm going to okay. say, don't worry. You got this. Don't worry. She gets four temporary hit points. No? <laughs> That's good. I can't, I can't do actual healing. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I can turn you into a ghost. Oh, don't know. That's no, seems, wrong direction. It seems like threatening. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, because she I, was about to like smile warmly at, uh, at uh, she, Clancy she's got, here. It's, it's, she's got the effect of, like, steroids. She's yeah. got temporary <laughs> strength. Um, Thank you, kind stranger, she says. And I ask her name. Uh, my name my name is Mia. And, um, Mom, yes, I, I was just traveling through this town and, and came upon one of the, the groups of those savages. And, uh, and, I, and I helped some of the guards defeat them. <laughs> but was injured in the skirmish and just came to this church to see if I could lend any hand. That's good of you. What is it that you're doing here? Uh, we were hired to get this town evacuated to, to not to Drellens Ferry. Where's to the, Brindle. To Brindle. <laughs> There's only two towns that I know of. Okay. <laughs> that's one of them. <laughs> um, to Brindle. Uh, and... And that's what we plan on doing. Oh, that's wonderful. Why that's not just load everyone in the carts? Well, that's what we're doing. I mean, they're, okay. they're loading right. people in. But some of these people are, are far too sick to be moved at such a rapid Well, hold pace. on. Do they need some temporary hit points? <laughs> <laughs> She's not I sure can what do you that. mean by that. If, if three, you speak to her I can rally them three more times. She's unfamiliar with the meta of the game. For a so. short rest. <laughs> Then I have to take a break for about an hour. <laughs> she, she tells you that uh, she's surprised that you'd ever need to take a break because it looks like your endurance is That's right. everlasting. Lads, I think I've got to... Uh, I know where I'm spending my next hour. <laughs> um, I, I just go over and I offer encouraging words to the, okay. the local townsfolk. I, I'm not going to rally them. But if, if someone had healing... <clears throat> Maybe a paladin or something. Yeah, some well, such. Um, I do. I I could um, cast. Do you have any more lay on hit? Uh, a what little bit, and, or, and I could cast um, six cure wound can spells. Make can you make? You can't make heal checks. Though? You're not trained. In I'm anymore? not trained in medicine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, is is there maybe ooh. an abandoned shop in town? Uh, they used to sell the bandits potions. would know. <laughs> No, the bandits tell you that the the, the oh. potion shop was packed and gone oh. among the first. That makes sense. So. But I could help round up the kids. Would that be handle animal or uh, persuasion? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm 
I've got ampersand over there with the kids, so they're oh, they're oh, all perfect. playing with the badger. All right, all right. So there's some morale bonus there because they love Good. your adorable pet, dire badger. <laughs> Just um, a giant badger. Oh, giant badger. That's dire badger. Under. So, what would what would we need to get these, uh, the the two sick to travel, on on the road? Is it medicine? So you can <coughs> yeah. It would basically be medicine, or uh, if you were able to. To provide magical healing, mm -hmm. um, but you can also like bolster the clerics that are here. Yeah, um, you can help load the wagons. You can oh, yeah. make sure that there's food for everybody because some of these people haven't even eaten recently. Okay. Like if you wanted, you could even go and hunt for food or mm -hmm. something. Well, I can I can definitely get a lot of food. I uh, go to the smallest of the children. Okay, and I put out my axe into his hands and it just clunks on the ground. <laughs> and I go and start loading the wagons. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, the child is thrilled with the axe and is attempting to yeah. move it. I'd say, if ye be worthy. <laughs> <laughs> and I can find food and water for up to five people a day, that's provided sweet. the land offers it. Well, that's, there's four my, of us. Yep, there, there you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> on, that, on that my kid, medicine, I rolled nice. a... Uh, Natural one. So, so yeah, the medicine. Oh, so untrained so medicine. The, the dozens of uh, injured and wounded that need to be fed and helped. I can do five of them today. Yeah. So how far Perfect. can I spread the magical healing or helping of the clerics? Uh, I mean, I would say that your presence alone bolsters their morale. Yeah, because you can give them your aura. Well, yeah, I can do that. Okay. <laughs> My aura of protection. Okay, so they feel bolstered. Yeah. I mean, um, uh, and then the 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 woman, mm -hmm. Mia, mm -hmm. she asks if you intend to just accompany these people to Brindle, or if you're going to try to slow the assault of the horde. I believe it's our destiny to slow the assault, the assault of the horde, and defend Brindle. Oh, and how do you plan to do that? She asks. Oh. Strength of Morden. <laughs> She kind of laughs a little bit, but not in a mocking way. Like she's genuinely like amused because she clearly doesn't worship Moradin. She doesn't have a beard. Right. I think that's a. I think it's a, it's a re yeah it is yeah. it's a requirement. You have to have a healthy beard. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So uh, does anybody have uh, like an investigate check or a... nobody? Uh, Survival. That would be Aaron. Okay. Cool. <laughs> right. Untrained medicine. Okay. Two. So, um, so Eight. Chent, your you your friend, the the I know the lead thief, yeah, the Crimson Tiger, the leader yeah. of the the glorious Crimson Tigers, mm -hmm. tells you that uh, he anticipates that there are still uh, patrols happening, like uh, the human guards of okay. of the town wouldn't just abandon the church entirely. So he offers to like run a. a Message. message to see if anybody's within a, a couple of hours travel even. Okay. Um, yeah. And the, the clerics would actually tell you the same thing, that, that the guards haven't completely left, that they're you know, just making sure that the way, this way out of town is safe because of the assaults that they've had from scouting parties sure. at the other end of town. They're just doing everything that they can to... While all this is happening, Clancy's pu putting boxes in. Cart. Okay. Right. <laughs> Going back Boxes in. and people. And people. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So you're making lots of progress for yeah. them. Yeah. I'm going to go see if I can find more carts. Okay. And maybe uh, like shops that did can you some food the or something in there. <laughs> Hellish Steve? I wish. Not, not yet. Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. That's an in app purchase, actually. He doesn't. It is now. <laughs> it's an in app <laughs> purchase. Or a loot box. For uh, for twenty bucks, I'll give you one. Cool. <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty one. In DM, <laughs> in DM bridges. <laughs> yeah, sure. You, you want you want a magic sword? You find one. You got you got five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world of Everloot. <laughs> Um, okay, so hey, you guys came up with that, and then everybody started doing microtransactions. <laughs> it was true. really yeah, creepy. It's it true. is creepy. We came up with it as a joke. Should have been rich. Yeah. Yeah, you you did. It was like 15 years ago. Yeah. You don't you don't want to pay money? Oh, then that treasure chest is actually a mimic. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Okay. Uh, so, yes, you're able to find some shops that still have some food and supplies, um, and you can bring them along to the packed items that Clan C is helping to load. Okay. Uh, after a while of helping, um, you've managed to help, I don't know, maybe a, a third of the people here make the progress needed. Cool. Um, and then there are uh, three guardsmen that come back. Good. And one of them is the captain of the, the town guard, which is, for such a small town, not, you know, such a noble role or anything, but it, it is what it is. Yeah. So he, uh, he comes and he introduces himself, and he says, Hello, gentlemen. I'm Lancer, and I understand that you slew some hobgoblins and goblin scum, and, and Chent here tells me that You've actually inspired a change of heart, and he's gone on to Brindle to help with the defense. Yes. That's amazing. That's us. Our clerics have been working on those troubled kids since they were 12. Aren't they still You've got a good youth outreach, (laughs) Aldrich. (laughs) Aldrich's definitely got a calling. Mm Mm-hmm. So, uh... So the captain of the guard, Lancer, tells you that uh, that it's a miracle, a godsend, that that you guys are here, and he wants to know what you're doing as uh, as a band of legendary mercenaries, because he's heard of the Hammer Fist, and you guys are are famous, and we're paid an enormous amount of wealth as a clan to send defense help. Mm-hmm. Um, he tells you that it's his understanding that the majority of your brothers are planning to actually uh, provide a bolster of the defense in Brindle itself, but was under the impression that you would be seeking to weaken the horde and wanted to know if you'd had any ideas on how to do that. We were sent as the advanced team. <clears throat> Didn't think the horde warranted more than just the four of us, really. <laughs> um, well, I mean... We're in such clanky armor that <laughs> guerrilla tactics are probably not our strong suit. Right, right. Um, but uh, the direct approach is—is is he aware of any smaller camps that we so can disrupt? He basically has uh, heard just rumors okay. from the from the fighters who came through, who had experienced the massacre at Drellin's Ferry. Uh, he tells you that he actually met one of the heroes of legend of of legend, also a level six, <laughs> who um, who had mentioned that there were all sorts of strange things happening across the Vale. And of course, everyone is aware of the additional goblin and hobgoblin activity. And yeah. um, some people have reported seeing dragons. And, and from Drellin's Ferry, uh, there were reports of all sorts of creatures, including hill giants, and uh, definitely at least one dragon was seen, a green dragon. Um, He's also heard rumors that there are undead amassing in the southwest of the Vale. That's not good. And that there have been sightings of the Tiri Kator in the central northern swamps. Uh, where the ruins of rest are, uh, and that the Tiri Kator have been seen flying farther and farther out of their normal area. And the Tiri Kator, if you want to make a history check. Oh, sure. But you'd probably know already. <coughs> I would. 18. <coughs> yes, 17. Are, uh, are wood elves. They're a oh. reclusive group of elves who ride on giant owls. Owls, and, that's right. Um, mm-hmm. They tend to stay just in their own lands in the marsh and forest of... Never trust, trust an elf. Exactly. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, he says that <clears throat> there's definitely something unusual happening near the ruins of rest, and there's definitely something unusual with regards to all of the undead activity in the southwest. Okay. So, either of those would be... A few days of travel for okay. the four of you, five of you, if your compatriot shows up. Um, I don't necessarily want to fight undead, but uh, 
Does anybody else have a, a preference? Well, the the horde will be here in about a week. Yep. Right. Which will give us enough time to go <coughs> someplace and then and come back. maybe come back. Yeah. Yeah. You'd uh, definitely be able to come back along the Donway, which is the name of the major road through mm -hmm. here, uh, to the next town before the next town is expected to be sieged. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> My vote would be to go take out the undead, but or investigate that. Okay, Mike, what do you? What does Torben say? Uh, undead is fine. There's, I don't have any preference anyway. Well, tag along. Okay. Well, undead Not so favored against undead. What kind of wall does this place have? Does this town have? This town doesn't really have much of a major defense. I mean, they've just got the standard wooden palisades. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, do these people seem like they're going to be all right on their own? Yeah, yeah. And Lancer tells you that he's he's confident that, especially with the help that you've provided, that they'll be able to get just about everybody out of here in time. Okay. Then I guess we'll hustle off to the south, west. Yeah. Okay. Right. Southwest. Right. Okay. Um, I the blow, woman I Mia. Blow Mina a kiss. The woman Mia actually she comes up to you and says, "Where are you going?" We're heading off to the southwest to kill undead. Undead? Uh, really? Well, I, I don't mean to boast, but I do know a fair bit of magic and could lend a hand to your party and perhaps give you a boost. She seems trustworthy. I'm going to... Hold on. <coughs> uh, that is a seven. On your insight? Yeah. Yeah. I got a natural twenty-three. <coughs> well. Natural twenty-three. And my background is I think everyone is trying to cheat me. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Your flaw? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so I've been sketchy of her all night. <laughs> so uh, you just think that she's really hard to read. But you think that she's genuinely just interested in providing. I mean she help. likes my strong guns. She's a great caster who has a wounded arm. No, I gave her the temporary hit points. Yeah, she's fine then. <laughs> Does she have a beard? <laughs> she does not have a beard. Well, then I, she don't, is I don't know. Can I don't she, know. Wait, can she keep up with 25 feet per round? Absolutely. Okay, she well says then let's coming. go. You gotta, she, says, <laughs> she says even in heels. You gotta be able to keep up with us. Okay. She can't keep up we with us? slowly move out. <laughs> so are you, is she gonna At a yeah, brisk sure, we'll accept clink, her clink, offer clink, of clink, assistance? Clink, clink. Yeah. I mean, she could even perform some magic for you if you wanted to. Oh, fantastic! To test her that Does way. She want to press the digitation her arm. She can better? definitely do press the digitation. She, she a can. wizard? Hmm? Or sorceress? Or well, a hag? She's very beautiful. <laughs> Hags are great. She's very beautiful, yeah. but she's not a hag. <laughs> but she's most certainly a hag <laughs> in disguise. <clears throat> Nonsense! Don't you have something that would allow you to? I think nobody has. That's what? I just got eyes. Mind reading or mind reading? No. Detect thoughts and yeah, things. my eyes and my insight. Divine she seems sense. Great. I know the location of a celestial fiend or undead oh, within do sixty you wanna, feet. Do you want to use she's divine not, sense? She's not undead. If you try that, you can tell she's <laughs> not undead. Or a celestial or a fiend. Yeah. Okay. So I, she's not. I'd probably things. glow a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a. A bit of dark energy surrounding you. Well, yeah, I've made an otherworldly bomb. I can also detect the presence of any place or object that has been consecrated or, de or desecrated. desecrated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So probably this temple. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Yeah, that's been, been consecrated. consecrated. Yeah. And then uh, you actually see that the ground outside of the tavern has been desecrated. Oh, okay. It spilled some wine and got some hobgoblin Dang on his ears. <laughs> well, I mean, that's just a warning. <laughs> The hobgoblins coming too. They're, they're gonna, gonna see that. And they're we moved into the palace, oh, guys. Oh, let's guys, skip gotta, this town. <laughs> let's move on to the next town. <laughs> well, if they do that, you, you that might have throws failed. off the, <laughs> throws off the timeline a little yeah, right. bit. All right, all right. So we okay. make our way southwest. Yep. With okay. Mina. So make a make a, another history check or a local check, either one. Uh, don't. Uh, local is not, no, not local anymore. Whew. So that's a 12. 10. Excellent. 5. <coughs> 11. Anybody trained in knowledge history? No. no. I am. Are you? Oh. Why don't you roll with advantage? Oh, good. That is a 12. Excellent. That's All right. what I got. So you think that it's unusual that 
that there's <clears> been an <throat> uptick in activity <laughs> of undead, but you think that maybe you've heard something about a necromancer oh. in that region, but you can't remember any details. Okay. She's, her name is Mia. <laughs> No, Nonsense. no, it's like Ghost Lion or something like that. <laughs> Lionel. <laughs> Lionel, yeah. Yeah, Lionel. <laughs> What's wrong, Lionel? <laughs> so we head off. Into so you head off. We head off. Of Perfect. Yep. So um, before you do, why don't you go ahead and take a long rest? Oh, good. In the church. Okay. And then we recover all our hit points. Yes. And recover all of your everything's. Yay! Spells. Okay. All Yay, your way and hands. if you had uh, managed to kill one of the humanoids, then that would reset as well. <laughs> <laughs> we recruited him. That's better. Right? So how long does your ghost last? Till the end of my next <laughs> long rest. Oh. <laughs> so we'll kill Mina. And then... <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah, I was thinking. When she wakes up, <laughs> doesn't well, seem when vain. she's still sleeping. When she doesn't wake up. <laughs> she, she doesn't, doesn't wake up. up. When there's just the specter <laughs> sitting next to her. She becomes, yeah. just, she becomes a you ghost. Just go Oathbreaker Paladin, and you, then you could raise. I uh, hum uh, killed humanoids as a zombie that you control. Let's see. Oathbreaker Paladin would go really great in an oathful <laughs> party of dwarves. Uh, Sworn mercenary company. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a guy seems that breaks good. oaths. Yeah. That seems like a great Just one oath. You just broke one. Yeah, just well, one. Because you can atone for it. The first yeah, one. and then you could be... A fighter control. with no ability. No, you can go back to being a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think it's pretty big deal when you break an oath, though. I think I think you got to atone quite a bit. Or okay. Yeah, there's a lot of atonement. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so you guys are gonna make your way southwest. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep. I um, make sure to um, <laughs> register my tickets early so that I can get in boarding group A. Yeah, it's important. But it's southwest, <clears throat> so they still make you pay for all your luggage. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, do you did you make a farmhouse? Um, I did not. Remember, I couldn't put the thing. Yeah, I was trying to figure thing. out. Uh, you know, we can do. Could that be a farmhouse? It's okay. Theater of the mind. We yeah. could just make this a farmhouse. Yeah, I mean Pick that one, could totally a be a farmhouse. Okay. If we wanted it to be. All right. Um, Which so one? you can just move the tavern back a little bit if you want. But where's Doug going to keep his dice? He's keeping them behind the tavern. It's so still behind the you, tavern. As you make your way back south, I mean, the, the town itself, you can tell <laughs> that the, the majority <laughs> of the people have certainly fled. Um, the town's population is probably only a few hundred people. Okay. Um, so the people that you left behind at the church uh -huh. would represent a... These maybe ten percent of that population. Okay. Um, less than a thousand for sure. Okay. So, um, and many of the buildings here, all, almost all of the buildings are wood and wattle. Uh, very, very few stone buildings. There is the, of course, the. How exception. are they going to keep the wolves at bay? They just have the new adventurers kill the wolf pups <laughs> before they can grow up <laughs> in, of into wolves. And because you have to collect so many pelts to get the item that the, you want, yeah. generally keeps the population up. down. He's fine. I'm walking. <laughs> no. Don't sleep on the Poor he walks faster. Where's your, where's your um, His speed is like 30. Oh, yeah. Right here. He's faster than me. Yeah. He's, He's faster, faster than, than me. <laughs> okay. Just a little badger out trundling in so front of the group. the four or five of you and Mia yeah. travel uh, out of the town and and uh, spend the entire day. You can talk about whatever you want, but it doesn't seem like the party's much on talking. I talked to Mia. Dwarves. She talks to you. Yeah. She what? thinks you're fabulous. What? Tell me all about her. <clears throat> so she tells you that her parents died a long time ago, and That's so sad. she learned magic, um, that she could control magic at an early age, and, and has just been using it to protect herself and to make her way in the world as best as she can. And she always loves an opportunity to, to meet strong individuals and and offer her assistance and find out what it is that they they do. Uh, as you... Steve. 
Nice. Uh, so you, you <laughs> spent a, a hard day marching across the Vale. Uh -huh. Signs of war everywhere. The horizon is littered with like the, the twisting goblins. smoke yeah. plumes of distant burnings. Because as you're making your way southwest, west is where right. Drellin's Ferry is. So uh -huh. there's definitely plumes of smoke that you can see off in the distance. Um, Boy, warriors of legend, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> They uh, haven't seen nothing yet. Most of the farms <coughs> in this in this area have been abandoned, and you actually find you come across what appears to be a sturdy but abandoned farmhouse. Okay. And uh, it looks, at first glance, at least, to be a good place to make uh, camp for, camp for them. What's it made out of? It's wood. 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 Could wood. be sturdier. Well, yeah, it could be stone. Could be stone. <laughs> could we could start digging up stone, and we can make a stone wall around. <laughs> Reinforce it with a stone. I mean, you could definitely spend all a of your week. resources doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't have a druid. I was just going to have to make a druid. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Works. Let's so make, go let's ahead make and make camp here. All right. Better to sleep indoors than outdoors. Excellent. Yep. Uh, as you're setting up camp, why don't you all make a perception check? Also one of my great skills. Perception. Ooh, yeah, I'm very perceiving. That's a 14. 21. 21? Okay, so as you're making camp, Clancy, you yeah. notice uh, several hobgoblins and three goblins approaching the farmhouse, and they're oh. trying to be stealthy about oh. it. Oh, okay. Because it's clear that they have seen you. Okay. And they don't think that they've been seen yet. Okay, well, I alert my friends. Okay. So you can roll initiative. You can uh, move yourselves around the farmhouse. You can either be in or just around it. Where are they coming from? <laughs> I'll put them based on where you are. Uh, well, I'm coming out of the forest. Coming somewhere. towards you. Yeah. They're coming. <coughs> I'll be inside the door. Okay. Well, you're the one that saw them, aren't you? Yeah, but out. I could have seen them from the window. Okay. So you saw them from the window, so they're coming from the forest. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I need three one? goblins and um, six hobgoblins. I'm somewhere. towards the back. Put me towards yeah, the side. Yeah. I'm going to stand by the front door. So there's three goblins okay. coming from the direction of the tavern. Is that where you want them to door. No, from the forest. Because yeah. I would have saw them and then moved. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. This Go ahead and way. roll initiative. Ooh. We're going to stay the same way here. I got a seven. My best roll ever. Were, were there hobgoblins? 18. 18? I still got a 21. Oh, <laughs> Nine. All right. All right. Well, Drew, the Junior order stays. Going first. Um, again, again. <laughs> I'm going to have Mia be DM free. Okay. Um, so when she you? attacks us, <laughs> we'll be surprised. We'll totally be When she attacks us, I get a specter. <laughs> <laughs> Until your next short rest. Or yeah, long rest. Until, until tonight, because this is the eh. end of the day. Were there hobgoblins too, or just the three goblins? Yes, six hobgoblins. And, well, I also have to make sure that I'm... Where do you want them? Uh, they can be... With with the goblins, basically. Yeah. How many hobgoblins are there? Six. Six, six. six, 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 six hobgoblins and three goblins. Three. None of, these gob none of the hobgoblins appear to be right. casters. Oh, okay. So... Uh, yeah, two of them will stay towards the back. The ones that are in the green. Those. Yeah, those. Yeah, so move the other one up front. Move the one from the way back up front. This guy? Yeah. Okay. Find me. So after, yep. after so, Clancy told me about... Junior. Yeah. So you, after, yeah. Go ahead. go ahead. After Clancy tells me about the uh, approaching friends, uh, I pull four crossbow bolts out, and I go and... Uh, Stick them outside and uh, create a cordon of arrows. Okay. So I just set up um, basically right outside the door. There's four arrows stuck in the ground. Anything that comes within 30 feet of them, they're going to fly off and attack it. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? that's cool. I plant, it's like a trap. It's doing yeah. a spell. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a spell. I plant them in the ground, put a little magic over them. Okay. So within 30 feet? With, yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. That's neat. All right. So I'm going to have the hobgoblins act first. So the two in the back, you're in the front there. So Eric and, is that Shad? No. Uh, no, that's Doug. Doug, okay. So Doug, you appear to be the closest. So I'm going to okay. have two arrows fly toward you. <laughs> okay. What? Now we can see through the walls. Yeah. Well, if you get There's close enough, the walls disappear. 
Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, and the other one does, uh, but you can tell the other one hits the, the building. Yeah. And okay. an arrow sticks into the building. Uh, then the other four hobgoblins advance towards you, and it looks like 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. Okay, he's now within 30 feet of the arrow. So he has to make a dex save. Okay. DC is... Uh, DC is... He makes a save. Okay. So then... And then, and then, oh, is yeah, this going to attack more than one target? Uh, well, there's four. Up, it can attack up to four targets. So all three. Because each so one will fly up. Um, all four of the hobgoblins have moved up, though. 15, 20, Not that guy. No. No, the two in the back are staying are to shoot so arrows, this guy. and that guy moves up as well. 30. So yep. all four get attacked. All four. Great. Okay, so three of them make a save. Great. So those three of them take absolutely no damage. Okay, and the one that didn't? Takes two damage. Did, did he die? He's, uh, <laughs> he's surprised. Boy, I wasted four crossbow bolts. did not die. Eh? No. Eh. Shockingly. Um, so the two two actually were able to make it up to you, Doug. Okay. Yeah. So now that they're both adjacent, mm -hmm. uh, they attack you. Okay. And the first one misses. Good. Even though he has advantage. And the second one hits. Okay. That's so exciting. So he is going to hit you for, he, he's got a long sword, not a spear. Oh, okay. So these are not the exact same kind of hobgoblin fighters that you were up against earlier. So that <coughs> does uh, 17 total damage. Ouch. That's nasty. Yeah. yeah. It was. <clears throat> and uh, so the first one missed, so. Was it my turn? It is now your turn. Okay, so I'll move out and adjacent to, yeah, there we go. And I'll say, quit hitting my friends. And I, um, actually, so Doug, do you, want, do you feel like making an attack? Yeah, sure, I'll make an attack. Um, so why don't you make an attack and I'll make an attack. And my attack right. is probably gonna miss. Do I get a bonus on this or no? Uh, you All get right. advantage. Okay, so, so 11 for my attack. Probably I rolled a 16 or a seven, I'll take the 16. So 23. Does that hit? To, yeah, 23 hits. Is this the one that has an arrow sticking out of his shoulder? Sure. No, well, I reroll that. Because the first one, all the other ones figured it out. <laughs> so. Exactly. Ow! That's 13, <laughs> guys. 13 damage. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> and I try to swing at him, too. And uh, you're too late. He's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. We got him, guys. And I say, good job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you did a nice job. All right. Uh, so that was... That's Fancy's turn? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so the goblins are going to move up. How far? They're going to move up. Uh, they can move up 60 feet. Uh, they can get 30, anywhere. 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, so one's going to get adjacent space. to each character that's there, I guess. And then they're going to blow up with Alchemist Fire. <laughs> and then they're going <laughs> to blow up <laughs> with Alchemist Fire, exactly. <laughs> They've got. A bunch of <laughs> they don't fire appear to have any weapons. Oh well. But they do yeah. appear to have sharp claws. Oh. Hmm. Oh. So one of them ninja goblins attacks monk goblins. One of them attacks Clancy. Okay. With two claw attacks and actually hits you with one of them. <gasps> no. And you take eleven damage. I take eight damage. These are non-magical claws, I guess. Yeah, I would hope so. Uh, <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to Does full a damage. 22 hit you, Haldek? Haldrek? A 22, yeah. Yeah, okay. <coughs> so you get hit by one of the claw attacks as well for uh, 16 damage. Oh. Ouch. Those are some dangerous claws there. Yeah. And then. Uh, is that you, Mike? No, that's, that's uh, me. Drenir. Drenir. So, Drenir, you get hit as well. Jafar, wherever you are. <laughs> for, also for 14 damage. 14? <laughs> Bloody hell. Jeez. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That's not true. <laughs> you, are you doing hobgoblin damage? damage. Oh. <laughs> and the same to you. 10 14. damage. 14. It's 41 damage. And the same to you. Well, I get one so point. Minus, yeah, yeah. So, 10 <coughs> instead of 16? Correct. Okay, so. Sorry. 
<clears throat> yeah, I was totally rolling the extra 2d6 for the, the nice. goblins. Oh, jeez. Like oh, oh, okay. So that's them. Okay. Torben. All right, so I'm going to move up over here. Whee! Just next to that goblin and around him, so I'm still adjacent, so okay. we can't get an opportunity. Yep. For that. That's right. Um, and then you start cleaving like the wind. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thunder is smart. I think it has to be... Um, Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hit this goblin okay. with a green flame blade. Please do. Hope it yeah, hits. Attack him. Uh, yeah, uh, 26 that to him. Hits, that hits, that hits. Okay. And this is a magic sword, right? Yes. Three, five, six, ten damage. Okay. And then, uh, then he Is does. that fire damage yeah. or? One was fire damage. One of it was fire damage? Okay, yeah. so he takes none of the fire damage. Okay. He's resistant or he's... He is resistant to fire damage. Okay, so he takes half, which is which zero. Which is zero if it's, if it's one. one. And then this guy, the hobgoblin next to him, takes ten fire damage. <laughs> oh, all right. So he takes five. He's also resistant. Well, now I know. Yeah. The goblin, right? And knowing. No, the hobgoblin. Oh, the hobgoblin. hobgoblin. Yeah. He took he, how much? Ten. Ten. Okay, so he's <laughs> he's really hurt. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I wish I was a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Haldrek. Um, well, I'm going to uh, attack the hobgoblin that just got hit. You can make a perception check. Once you attack that goblin, okay. make a perception Ten. check. Ten. Okay. <laughs> I hit the goblin. So the that goblin. would be a 17 to hit the hobgoblin. That hits. Okay. So Is that the one that just got yes. lit up? Yes. Yeah. And he, he takes 15 damage. Jeez. Well, he, he should have used that attack on somebody else. All right. Yeah. And now... Um, <laughs> Then I'm gonna hit the him. goblin. Okay. So that would be a 15. That misses. Oh. Make a perception check as a reaction. Uh, that would be 18. An 18. Mm -hmm. uh, so you are not convinced that this is a hob that this is a goblin. Okay. Um, can I? Oh, it's an action to use to find sense. So never mind. Okay. So it is Mia's turn. She's standing in front of a window. She Mia can see a hobgoblin. Is seeing a hobgoblin. So she will. Um, she'll actually come over to. The door? Are you, you're a fighter? Mm -hmm. So she's actually going to touch you and cast haste. Sweet. Oh, nice. So she steps out to here? Right there. Yeah, yeah. she just touches mm -hmm. him. Yeah. <coughs> okay. And then, yeah. That's one extra action, right? Yeah. Okay. So you can make two, uh, two, two attack additional. actions. Yeah, oh. two additional yeah. attacks on, on my attack action. Ooh, you're going to be an attack monster now. So. Oh, just wait. <laughs> uh, you get sick. Uh, back to Druner. OK. Uh, goblin in front of me. I'm holding the old axe. You also get two to your AC. Boom. <laughs> Sweet. <coughs> Well, and this is because I tried to swing the axe one-handed. Um, I got an eight and a seven for attack. Does nice. both miss? Yeah, yeah. And that was against the three goblin. That was against the goblin. The goblin. Me. Oh, okay. We don't. Yeah. Get any... So your speed is doubled. You gain yeah. two AC. Yeah. You have advantage on Dex saving throws, and you get an additional action. And this goes for how long? A minute. Uh, a minute. So that okay. action can be used only to take the attack, one weapon attack only. Okay. So if your That's one fine. weapon makes two attacks, it would be two, but... I think it's just three. Okay, all right. Because I get two attacks, but if and I... And then you can use that action to make one weapon one. attack. Yeah, okay. okay. That's fine. All right. All right, so that was Junior's turn, and now it's the Hobgoblins, and I've still got the two with the arrows. Mm -hmm. They're going to target... Uh, I guess they'll target Shad... First, Clancy. they get advantage. Okay. So that is a fifteen. Nope. You're and like then against. Yeah. Is that Haldrek? Is that you outside in the orange cape? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's my cloak of protection. Can All right. I, so can you, I see the hobgoblins that are shooting at us? Can you see them? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna give him disadvantage. It is actually. It's not a range. It's not just melee attacks. It's ranged attacks as well. Okay, if so I can see them. he's nice. just going to roll one attack then. Yes. 
and that is a 15. No. Nope. <laughs> right. <Ding. laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. So that's the, what I do. Uh, the remaining two hobgoblins, the one that's not quite up to you, Is he move forward? Move, moves forward and he'll attack you, and then the other one will attack Shad. He'll move up and attack Shad. So that guy actually hits you with his sword. Uh oh. Mm. You die. And you die. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Um, yes, once per turn, he does extra damage. So you take 13 damage. Okay. And then natural 20. Oh, <laughs> Do you no! want me to double the dice or just... Uh, you can double the dice. Okay. Just multiply. 12. Do you double the... No, not it's the okay. ability. Just, you just right. add it. Just the dice pool. 12. I mean, the whole dice, like the extra damage from martial advantage? Yes. Yeah, you do oh, double that. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, there's, it's what, rogues mm -hmm. as well. Just too. like sneak attack. <clears throat> yeah, any so, dice, dice. Yeah. 26 plus 1, 27 damage. Okay. Minus Ooh. 3, because he's not three. using. <laughs> it's not magic. 24. Yeah. So I go from sandwich? 51 to uh, uh, 27. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that hurts. Yeah. yeah. And now it is Torben's turn. Okay. Um, <coughs> did, wait, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's Clancy's okay. turn. It is your turn. Okay, I'm going to smite them. Okay. Uh, but not actually smite them, just with my axe. Um, <laughs> with my axe. <coughs> I'm going to start with the goblin in front of Haldric. The goblin? As far as I know. The okay. goblin. Um, because it's a goblin. That is a uh, 27 to hit him. That certainly hits. All right. So he's going to take... That's the one that got hit? 11 damage. No. 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 Okay. Yeah, it would have been that one that got hit. He's he going to take 11. Is this magic? No. Well, yeah, it is magic. Perfect. Okay. Um, and then, is he still up? Yep. Okay, he's getting attacked again. Okay. That is only 12. Probably that does hit. not hit. Uh, so a third time. Okay. That is a 23. That hits. For 6 Okay. Is he still up? He sure is. Okay. And you can make a free perception check. All right. I'm going to make a perception check, and that is definitely going to make it with a 23. Yeah. You are convinced that that is not a goblin. Okay. Well, I'm going to accent surge, and so I'm going to make two more attacks. <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, 20. That hits. All right. So he's going to take 11 more damage. Okay. And then how about a 21? It's definitely yep. going to hit as well, and he's going to take... Uh, 13 more damage. Nice. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> okay, he's, shot, 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 shot. he's looking a little bit beat up. For a goblin, he's that taking... That sucks. <laughs> taking a long time right. for a goblin. Uh, it is... Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One last thing. Um, hey, you got a bonus action? Yeah, I do have a bonus action. I'm going to not take a short rest. I'm going to take a second wind. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. um, so that's it for me. Okay. All right. He is going to make... Two attacks against you. The goblin is. Okay. Because you just hurt him. Yeah, I would hope so. Uh, does a, an, an 18 does not hit you. Does a 23 hit you? 23 does. With the plus two AC? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he hits you for 10 damage. Okay. 10 is slashing the, damage. Is he attacking magically or no? No. Okay. It's just his claws. Okay. And then um, there's a goblin that's going to attack. Who's the guy with the big axe out? That's that me. Guy. That's you. He's going to attack you. Okay. And he's going to hit you. Okay. Once, not twice. Uh, and he hits you for six slashing damage. Okay. And then I have one more goblin. Don't I? Is, but he's, oh, he's adjacent to yeah. Shad also. Mm -hmm. He'll attack. He'll attack Mike. That's uh, the one I hit earlier. And that is a 20? Does that hit? Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. So he does 10 damage. Ooh. Okay. okay. Torben, it is now your turn. All right. So the goblin that we I've been punching, or stabbing, I'm going to hex him, Okay. or hexblade curse him. Okay. And then I'm going to hit him. Mm, should I hit him in... Flame one of the hobgoblins, or just hit the goblin twice. Mm, these goblins seem to be the tougher opponents, yeah. so I'd just say hit them twice. The, the hobgoblins hit really hard, though. That was yeah. 
Well, I guess it's um, up to you then. We could take out a number of a number. Of, I mean, I my plan was I thought that they were still somewhat goblins. goblins yeah. So I was hoping to take down the numbers and just go yeah. whacking down the, the mm -hmm. trail there. All right, I'm just going to flame them because uh, there's a chance I can kill one of the hobgoblins. Okay. Uh, 20 hits. Right? Yeah, it does. Yep. Oh, actually, it's 23 against the guy I'm punching. Uh, so no fire damage to him because it is one again. Okay. So 17 damage. This is the one that you've hit before, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then against the hobgoblin, 11 damage. Fire damage. That kills the hobgoblin. All right. Sweet. Uh, this one or this one? Whichever one. They were. They I have guess. eleven at full. So. Okay. We'll kill that one. <laughs> okay. Dang it. Why did I go with the gun? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Haldric. All right. So. You saw how easy that was. <laughs> yeah, I did. So I'm down <clears throat> twenty hit points. Just FYI. I'm down forty. <laughs> did you see me I'm winning. save you from that arrow? <laughs> I did. And I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna. Um, You're down sixteen. I'm going to lay on hands myself for 20. Okay. Okay. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith. Um, if I put it on you... Is it a concentration spell? Uh, it might be. Yeah, concentration up to 10 minutes. So if you take damage... You have to make a save. Make a save. But yeah, I can put it on myself and... What does it do? It's just a plus two to your AC. On top of your already plus. So I can yeah. give it to you, make Stack you invincible, it. or put it on me, and I might have a chance of not getting hit by this goblin thing. Or do you need it, Mike? I'm at 17 AC. What's your AC? Mine's 19. Oh. I said put it on yourself. Put it on yourself. Put it on myself. Yeah. Okay. You have a better so The best I can do is just give it disadvantage, but that doesn't mean that they're still not going to hit you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, okay. so Mia is actually going to cast a magic missile on the hobgoblin that's standing there cool. and kill it. Cool. Sweet. Not Thanks, sure. Mia. Told Good you that job. she was a great. And she's not out to screw us, even Jin though I think everyone's out to Jin screw us. Mia, it is your turn. Um, she's not bad. I thought you were yeah, hoping she'd screw you. Yeah, I was. <clears throat> in this, so in after my house, failed house. attempt to <laughs> one-handed that thing, I'm going gripping it back with two hands okay. to hit the goblin in front of me. Just throws your balance all off. And uh, that's, uh, first attack is a 21. Yep. Second attack's a seven. This is the one that has not been hit. Correct. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna spread out the damage as much as possible. That's a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> like, can't really move, yeah. Plan. I can't yeah, move these goblins end. down Wait. <laughs> so they die at the same time, <laughs> otherwise they just yeah, pop back up. up. Right. And that is uh, 11 damage. <laughs> uh, is that magical? Um, you yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a plus one. Okay. Guys, okay. these chairs aren't as comfy as that chair. <laughs> <laughs> this chair is so comfortable. <laughs> 11? Yep. Okay. Perfect. He still has more hit points than the other two, but it's fine. Uh, so now it is the Hobgoblin's turn. The two. The two. So the two and the three. three. They still have... They still have their bonus. Yeah. They get advantage. Yeah. So they're going to attack Shad. The other one's going for you. One is going. Well, you're, you're 21 right now? I'm at 22. 22. So they miss you. And if they're going to Haldrick, he, he's going to have disadvantage. Okay. He's then he misses. Heavy. So an arrow misses yeah. you. Okay. Holy uh, cow. They feel like they're. They're going to stay plastic. back there. They're not moving forward because they saw what happened to the other four hobgoblins. <laughs> 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 they and they're going to let the, uh, the other <laughs> fighters take over. Clancy. Okay. What are you going to do? <clears throat> I'm going to keep boys. attacking the, the goblin, the not a goblin that yeah. I was attacking before. Goblin, goblin. Uh, that's going to hit. Second attack is a 15. 15 does not hit. Okay. And then the third attack is a 20, so that two yep. hits. Um, so that is. An 11 and a 6 total. So if I thunder step. 11 right and now, 6, so 17 total? Yeah. I'll hit all three of the goblins. And us. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Yeah. I'm willing to take that chance. <laughs> that sounds familiar. It's just a concept. All right. Too. Yeah. Right? Right, Doug? Oh, wait. Uh, um, <laughs> how, how many hit points are you doing? Me currently, I'm down 20. Um, <clears throat> you're doing a good job. Thanks. You get two more. 
<laughs> four more. Four temporary hit points. Four temporary hit points? Yeah. Thank you. You're doing, it. You're doing a good job. Hadric? You're doing a good job. Thank All you. right, so the goblins, quote unquote dead. goblins. Can't believe that guy's still friggin' alive. Two you're attacks you're against Hadric. Oh, you're good. 2d12. Nice. 20. Nope. Shoot. See, it's because of your plus 2 AC. Yeah. I know. Two <laughs> attacks against uh, uh, Clancy. Clancy. That's a miss. And two attacks against Torben. Because Torben, you were tearing this guy up. Oh, he hits you, Torben. All right. Uh-oh. For... Do you die? Seven damage. Oh, right. I bet you died. Does that kill you? No. Game over? Nope. Game over. Torben, no. it's your turn. All right. Um... Torben Dallas Multipass. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how long that's been going through my head. <laughs> Why didn't anybody say I didn't even think of that. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, Told the dead. Yeah. He needs, to make the a, dead on him? he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Is he wise? <clears throat> I bet he's wise. So, his save. DC is 14. Okay. How do you toll the dead? What does it look like? Do you bring out a little bell? <laughs> he saves. <laughs> Aww. Sorry. Takes half? He takes none. Oh, that's right, because it's a, it's a can trip, trip. So it's all in mm -hmm. But it's 2d12 if he fails. Yeah, this wow. level. It's pretty <laughs> sweet, because he's already taken damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, um, I'm going to use a bonus action. Okay. And uh, that guy takes three psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bonus action? The maddening Hex is a bonus action. You deal three psychic damage. No, oh, nice. The target to cursed target. by your Hex spell or so that is warlock feature. The... the one I was I've been punching. Okay. Yeah. Not punching. Or Hitting stabbing with your sword. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll drink. And anything within five feet of it if I wanted to. Nice. Um. I'm going to. I guess we've been attacking this guy, huh? Yeah, we have been. Or well, you have been? I mean, we've been spreading it out, honestly. But That's, I tried to, this guy's yeah. been attacked like seven times by right. him. Yeah. Um, not quite dead. Yeah, not quite dead. <laughs> How is he looking, by the way? Is he looking great? Which one? The middle one there? The, the one that I've the been one, hitting. The one next to, the, next to me right here. I've landed like seven attacks on. Oh, he's looking pretty beat up. Oh, good. That's okay. why I was hoping Told the Dead would kill him, but it All right. didn't. I'm going to, he's to attack him. I'm going to try that again. No. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, I swing my great axe into the house. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. that's our house. <laughs> that's our Apparently, house. it's more solid than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and it hits him in the head. And the wall oh, falls on. Nice. <laughs> like hmm? I was going to look and see if this spell can actually be cast in combat or not. What, uh, what spell? What's Mina doing? She. Oh, she's admiring oh, my... My, my the one minute spell. prowess. It's a one minute spell, but it's also only charisma checks. It's not anything no. that's actually useful. It was friends. I, I didn't know if friends actually. I mean, it could be them. useful for me if I can <laughs> get a bonus right. of charisma checks against her. Enemies abound. Right. Uh, she'll just go ahead and magic missile again. It turns. It makes them confused. So this time she'll magic missile things. one of the hobgoblins. The one that's the beat distance. up. Oh, the hobgoblins up in the distance. Okay. And that is 11. That's enough to kill him. Okay. So now it's Drunier's turn. Okay. Come on, Drunier. <coughs> oh, you wow. need a reckoning. That's not a very good roll for a first attack. Hand. Oh, and that's even worse than second attack. Both what attacks miss. Attack? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, my first attack was a 13. Okay. So now it is the Hobgoblin's turn. There's only one Hobgoblin left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he will be attacking with disadvantage, I'm guessing. Yeah. I'll, All right. I'll. So he misses. Okay. okay. And it is now Clancy's turn. Okay. All right. He's still hasted. All right, not a goblin. It's your time to die. <laughs> uh, that's going to hit a 24. Second attack is a natural 20. So I'll Ooh. stop there. Um, okay. The 24 is 11 damage. Okay. Uh, is he still up? It is. <sighs> Jeez. I hate to use a crit on this guy. Um, all right. Uh, that is 8 and 14, 19 damage. Whew. Is he still up? Oh, my God. Wow, this Barely. guy. Like, he's 
How about a 12? Does a 12 hit him? No, <laughs> no, it does not. Holy <laughs> smokes. Okay. Jeez, that's all I can do. All right, so it's their turn. Um, that goblin actually just disappears. This one does? Yeah. I killed him. <laughs> you guys saw it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. Poof. Hmm. Uh, the other one is going to make two attacks against... Um, Me. Well, one will make two attacks against Shad and yeah, miss probably. both times. <coughs> uh, natural 20 will hit Mike. But the second attack uh, You know what? On the first attack, I'm going to have a disadvantage. What? <laughs> <laughs> and it rolled a one. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Zero damage. Protection. <laughs> Uh, Torben. Okay, I'm going to use a bonus action to cast the actual hex now as well. Okay. So I... On the one that you've been hitting? Yes. Um, so let's see if I can hit him more. <laughs> uh, does a 22 hit? It does. All right. What about a 10? No. Damn. All right. Does he take necrotic damage? He does take necrotic damage. Oh. Yeah, he's resistant to cold fire and lightning. Okay. He's immune to acid and poison. Um, he's gonna have a disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Nice. Okay. Because why not? Because why not? Yep. Because someone might want to toll him. Uh, 18 damage from. Okay. A sword. From your great S word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take Ashwitz for 400. <coughs> okay. That is... Oh, All right, so I'm going to jump in the middle here. Nice. <laughs> okay. Tag. Acrobatics check. What? No. <laughs> you jump. <I> step. <laughs> I think that it's off. Let's we'll go, go for the one that... Go for this one here? Yeah. Okay. Let's put That's all the, the damage on one. Weakest. All right. <laughs> so that would be a 25 to hit this guy. Yep. He's just going to disappear so again. So I get to reroll that. That's fine. He's gone. <laughs> um, that's nine damage. Okay. And then... That's the one that's been beat up the most. Yeah. yeah. And does a 16 hit him? No. Okay. That, that great weapon master has come into play a lot. Three times. Yeah. It has, yeah. yeah. And usually for major impact. Yeah. 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 yeah one to 11. Yeah. That Twice. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Haldrag, so Mia is going to try to finish off the last of the Hobgoblins. Sweet. But you did the defending stuff, right? That she rolls oh. less than she that, Which has stuff. come up far more often. Yes. Yeah. That Hobgoblin is still alive. Drenier, it is your turn. <clears throat> hacky, slashy, hacky, slashy, better. Wow. No, 12. And eight. Oh. I feel like if these that were real goblins, you'd still away. have a hard time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but they wouldn't be around jail. anymore. <laughs> what does the hobgoblin do? Uh, he's going to shoot with advantage. At Clancy? At Clancy. Thank God that no, goblin at, I'm trying uh, to hit Aldrich. is not okay. paying any attention to uh, it does, uh, <laughs> I'd be slightly dead. 19 doesn't hit you, though. No. Okay. All right. So that is Clancy's turn. Okay. Day. I'm going to do three attacks on the goblin. Okay. Uh, first one's not going to hit 15, 19? Yep. Okay. And then 20. Okay, so two hits. Um, uh, 10 and 12. Okay. All right. It's their turn. Uh, that one's actually going to disappear. Yay! We've this killed him. I killed that one, too. So which one? He's not dead. <coughs> this one. Yep. If he's gone, he's gone. Oh, okay. I don't get nine hit points. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but you do get hit for 12 damage. Ah, <laughs> oh. Jeez. Uh, and it is not your turn. I can't move the hex either because he's not dead. <laughs> really? It's, it has to drop to zero hit points. Oh. That's funny. Yeah, so I lose 12. <clears throat> I hope that all three of them are somehow the same I'm creature. I'm down 35 hit points now. Yeah. It's like reverse blobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> They're now into that one. Who's right. no, probably don't you have a full hit point. Like, yeah, no, because I, I can't hit him. So. I <laughs> have a divine sense. I'm going to move there so that you can move yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, can you use it? It's, it's an, an action? It's an action. Oh, okay. yeah. And I, I would want, a spell it would, slot. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Divine Sense says use a spell slot. It does? I think so. Does a 15 it say hit it? it? does. A 15? Yes. No. Okay. Well, I'm pretty I sure it twice. does. But okay. It's down here. So it does. Haldrak, it's your turn. You can use it as I can action. use a number of times equal to one plus my charisma modifier. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. There you go. So I could use it three times. But, use um, it. Use it up. <laughs> don't use your action on that. I'm not going to use my action on that. I'm going to attack this thing. Oh, All right. you don't want to You don't want to know what it is, maybe? No. Haldrak doesn't care what it is. He just wants to know if the axe He just wants to it. fight it until it so disappears, 20. and then we go sleep. <laughs> the 20, does the 20 hit it? Uh, 20 hits it. Okay. After about six rounds. And does a 19 hit it? 19 hits it. All right, so 12 damage. And then uh, seven damage? damage. No. Your weapons are not magical. My weapon is not magical. Okay. So that less sucks. than that. Yeah. It's got resistance. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you take a magical? Magic weapon? It's yeah. part of the class. Oh, that's right. Okay. Now, you took the. Yeah, we took, took the magic. Yeah. When I create my weapon every day, it makes it magical. Uh, it is Mia's turn. <laughs> She's gonna finish off the hobgoblin with her last magic missile. All right. So Way to go, Mia. It's gone. No now, All right, time. rolling different dice. Let's see. That's better. Natural 20 and a 19, 19 and yeah, oh, 19 and that, that, 20. That would have been yeah. two crits for me. Woo! <laughs> okay. Uh, you got a magic weird. weapon here. Because yep. Uh -huh. So <laughs> that's uh, we're using those because it's two-handed. So the 19 is going to be nine damage, and then the second one is. Oof, uh, 10 damage, or sorry, 12 damage. So it was how much the first Nine time? So 12. 21 damage total. Yeah. Okay. And he is magical. Yep. No more hobgoblins, so I'm going to move up. Okay. Move around. And I'm going to just yeah. attack twice, <laughs> and my my primary attack, I'm going to use commander strike so that you can attack. Oh, the okay. So, so not going to hit, and is it 18? Okay. Two fourteen. We're all standing around. Well, yeah. Hacking. <laughs> uh, six damage. Okay. Uh, Thirteen damage for me. Oh, nice. Thanks. That's why I gave you the. <laughs> yeah. That's it for me. Okay. So it's turn. it is its turn. So you guys are each pushed back just a little bit, but not because. Oh of no, spell. they're yeah. Margus. <laughs> but because oh. it transforms to its. Natural True form. form. Oh my God. Awesome. <laughs> and it speaks to you in common, and it says, "The Gorgosu comes," and then it dimension doors away. Is that was that Mr. Claw? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just a Shoot gadget. Fiendish voice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That is the. That well, is that was super fun. Encounters. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks for running. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys have had fun. I know that we're we ran a little bit late. Just a reminder, we will not be streaming the next two weeks. We'll be back to the Red Hand on the 13th and finish up on the 20th. And again, follow at Hyperion PDX on Twitter for updates about what is happening with mistakes being made. Good night.